Hey Flosstube! Hi Flosstube! Welcome to our channel about cross stitch called Hathaway Stitchers. We're sisters and Hathaway is the name of the street that we grew up on. Mm -hmm. So we are very excited to be here today. Um, we have lots of updates from just stitching and stitch con and all kinds of good things. Yep. So if you're new here, very nice to meet you. We're excited mm -hmm. you're here. Uh, if you are returning to watch, we're so glad you're back. Um, super fast intros. My name is Erin. My pronouns are she, her, and you can find me on Instagram at Cozy Town Stitches. Yep. My name is Amity. My pronouns are also she, her, and you can find me on Instagram at Boomerang Stitches. Um, we also have an account on Instagram called Cross Stitch mm -hmm. underscore Salander yep. um, that myself and Amity and our friend Alex, who is at Salix underscore stitches. Um, Alex! <laughs> Alex! Yeah. Um, and I want to flag, like, Alex is the real VIP here. Like, any, every single asset that's on there, she's made. Yep. Um, Amity organizes, I just post, and she does the... I've gotten lazy, but I'm just like, here's a screenshot! <laughs> Alex! <laughs> yeah. Um, so yes, quick shout out to Alex for doing so much work to keep that up to date. Um... So yeah, you should follow it if you're not, and you should join Sal's because they're so much fun. So fun. Yeah. Uh, oh, Sal, sorry. Stitch along. I was yes. watching a floss tube, and I can't remember who, and they were so good about like not just like throwing alphabet oh, stupid people. Yes. Yeah. yeah um, I know. So I want to be better about that. So Sal, S A L can be a stitch along or a start along. Start along if you're like us. <laughs> um, but if they're posted on there, they're open. You should definitely join them. It's great way to meet uh, stitchy friends. Mm -hmm. So um, we got a little bit behind on our updates. So we have filmed a few things. We filmed a uh, reveal for Garden of Zig, mm -hmm. which is almost done editing and we will get that released very soon. Um, we also filmed a stitch con update. Oh, and it was, oh, did we? <laughs> yes, it was, it was right after stitch con. It was in, it was very, long and also rushed in a weird way yeah so uh it was a lot going on right after amity was leaving for vacation like the next morning the next morning at 3 i hadn't even done like any packing so i was like we need to yeah like, we need to get this let's going let's do this yeah. yeah um we and then you got sick mm -hmm. you weren't feeling well um so we still am you can probably hear us if uh, <laughs> yeah if there's weird cuts or mute in places That'd it's be me coughing yeah um so we we're going to finish editing that and we realized it didn't make a lot of sense. Like at all. Uh, yeah. And there were already so many amazing, like really thorough organized recaps out in the world. Um, we will link some below. We'll talk about some in the video. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're going to do is take the haul section of that and we're going to like throw that at the end of this video. And then we're also going to talk a little bit about our, our stitch cut experience throughout this video, mm -hmm. which was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Um, so we're going to dive right in and we're going to start uh, talking about some thank yous. And the first kind of group of people we wanted to thank were our table mates at StitchCon. Mm -hmm. so the best table. It was, it was a great table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Table 23. 23. Yep. I'll even forgive that it was an odd number. I know. I know. Yeah. There were six of us, so that's okay. Yeah. Um, so if you were thinking about going to a retreat or stitch con and um, I saw a lot of people in like the Facebook group that if it, like once you had registered you could join yeah. the Facebook group a lot of people asking like hey I'm coming alone how do I meet people how do I know who to sit with um, so something that they did this year that you'll hear people talk about in recaps was they had flags on each table that said join us so if you had seats left at your table you would leave your flag up and then when people came in they knew that there was a place for them to sit which was oh, really nice it was very nice yeah um so we had gone to keepsakes the weekend before stitch con mm -hmm. beat the rush yes thinking we'd beat the rush <laughs> and then maybe they'd have some like fun new stuff in for stitch con um so we were there and we were talking to barbara um who who owns keepsakes and the inventor of stitch con yeah yeah um and she was saying yeah a lot of people get there and get in line early like the doors open at 10 a.m on thursday most a lot of people are there by 8 a.m and i was like why like why did you get a good table well yeah i just i didn't understand why you would want to wait in line for two hours but then we get there and it's so much fun because you mm -hmm. like you get to talk to people and you meet people um 
So we were not there long when we saw and met Tasha, who is Britches Get Stitches, who's mm -hmm. pretty local to us. She's in the Cincinnati area. Yeah. Um, and we talked to her, seen her online, talked to her on Instagram. So we got to meet her and she kind of became our like the de facto leader yes. of our table because she had been to StitchCon before. Mm -hmm. So she knew all of the intel, like this is what's going to happen here. And this is what's, uh, when this she is shows gonna... where the good bathrooms were. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all the, all the top secret stuff. Yeah. Um, so she was at our table. Um, and another thing that happens is some people bring like gifts for everyone. Some people bring gifts for their table mates. So mm -hmm. Tasha made little trinket trays. Yes. I have stuff here. Amity has hers out. Little cute little trinket trays for you oh, can, look. you put all your stuff. And she has like great labels. Yep. Say purchase stitches. And then she made badge holders for our stitch con look, badges. Look at this. Yeah, they have a little zipper. It which was amazing for like I think all my tickets are gone, but it had like raffle tickets and then like yeah. hold ticket, mm -hmm. hold ticket and everything for yep. um the annex. And again with the labels. They're yeah. so good. Yeah, this was like amazing. It was a really good idea. And she just like yeah. made the pattern up in her head. Yeah. Brilliant. Love it. Yeah. Um, so Tasha was there with her friend Michelle, who we got to meet, and mm -hmm. it was at our table. Um, Michelle is at STL, I keep thinking for Seattle, St. Louis, stitching, no G. Uh, she does not have a floss tube yet. yet. We'll keep trying. Yeah. Uh, and she made adorable pins. Oh my goodness. And they were all different, weren't they? Mm hmm. Yeah, I picked out a crab. Yeah, I have an octopus, but mine's mm -hmm. at home. Yeah, all of Aaron's stuff is at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I didn't know how we were going to, I didn't know we were going to refill this part. This so. is true. Yeah. And what Michelle doesn't know is I collect pens. Mm hmm She does. I'm very excited. Yeah. Um, and Michelle was like the ultimate enabler. She had this amazing collection of colored cotton floss. Yeah. So good. It's I think I said before, like, bucket list item is to visit Color and Cotton. The wall. The wall. Yeah. Like, so. mm, it'll yeah. happen. We're yeah. going to take a road trip one day. Oh, no. Yeah. We can fly to see out St. Louis. Have all kinds of sky it, miles. I guess yeah. it would be a flight trip, not a road trip. Oh, you can drive. I mean, either way. We'll, we'll get there. That's yes. what matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll happen. Um, and they were sitting with, when we were in line, um, they were sitting with Hillary, who is some part mm -hmm. stitches. And I was excited to meet because she also has a nail channel mm -hmm. where uh, she was mediocre manis. Yep. And I was like, I need to find out what she did for her nails for StitchCon. So we started talking to her and hit it off right away. You should definitely go watch her StitchCon recap because mm -hmm. uh, she will tell the story better than I do. The key to making friends is just give them a piece of gum. So I had this gum in my bag. I was going to chew a piece and I didn't want to be rude and not offer, so I offered but it had been my bag for a little while, so it was weird. Like, how long is a little while? It like melted in my hand. I think I think it's from flying so much. Can altitude change, change gum? I think that's weird. <laughs> I don't anyway, think that's right. Amy said it was awkwardly soft, and it was. So. It was very um, soft. Yes. And then uh, we also got to meet Hannah, mm -hmm. who is the MN for Minnesota Stitcher. Uh, sorry, the MN Stitcher. MN is for Minnesota. Her YouTube is Hannah Stitching. Mm -hmm. Yep. And she made needle minders for everyone. Like she for everyone, everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Like I grabbed a couple. Mm -hmm. Aaron did the same. I think like you changed your mind about oh my gosh. 40 times and they, finally. She was sitting right beside me and they were all so cute. And I was like, oh, I need a squirrel. And I was like, oh, that bear is really cute. So I kept like swapping it and like changing my mind. And oh. then she was, I think she felt bad for me and gave me two. She's like, just leave them alone. Yeah. Take two. Got two an acorn. I love them. They're so good. They're like I like that they're wood and they're like lightweight. Mm -hmm. They're very nice. Yeah. And she's my mom friend. Yes, Amy <laughs> made a mom friend. Um, I'm so proud. She she is great. Like she's just like a really super cool, laid back person. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, we also had, so those are table mates, mm -hmm. so much table. fun. Um, and you should definitely go a lot. Like I like said, Hillary's recap, so organized, really great. Tasha's is really great. Um, yeah, there were a lot of people we spent like, 
fair amount of time with, either yeah. late night stitching or going to lunch or just kind of hanging out. So we wanted to mention them also. So um, back to the like getting there early yeah. for the line, like in the parking lot, walking in, we met Gretchen. Who amazing. Gretchen and I have bonded in the comments um, over our love of Sullivan's ball tip needles. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and we got to talk to her, and she's also local ish. So yeah. she's only like yeah. less than a couple hours away, which was nice. Um, mm -hmm. And Gretchen, is, like, she sews. And she made, she made amazing. Look these adorable bags. Look. Ohio. She said we needed a little Ohio in our life. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, are the charms the same? I don't remember. Yeah, mine's, Ohio. Yeah, mine's a little Ohio yeah. charm. And then right now this has a bunch of other goodies from Stitch Planet, but she had given it to us with um, some floss drops that her husband had made. Oh yeah, he 3D prints them. Yeah, and, and they're so nice. Yeah, they say Gretchen's Sewing House. Yep. And then um, Stitch House. Stitch House, sorry. Yeah. Stitch um, House. Here, here's your card. Yeah. And also a Cincinnati, Ohio postcard and some stickers, which I have managed to keep away from my daughter. She hasn't seen them then. No. Because yeah. they're pink. They're pink and yeah. purple and flowers. Yep. Um, I just wanted to show her. Everyone has such cute labels. You need to get good I labels. I know. I need labels. I need Look a logo. Look how good that is. It's so cute. I love it. Yeah, you definitely need labels for yeah. your bags. Yeah. That is a goal that I'm putting on okay. you to get done. Thank you. More to do. Yes. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. Um, and then we got to hang out with Tara, who's Will to Woman Crafts. Another mm -hmm. great recap. Yeah. Um, should definitely check out her channel if you haven't. Um, she made adorable things too. She did. She made Shrinky Dink, like of her cat Fozzie or Foz. But look at that. Her friend drew it and then made Shrinky Dinks. And they were different. You have one with a cowboy Mine hat. Mine cowboy hat. Yeah. Um, but I think they're like three or four, maybe mm -hmm. five, even. Maybe, maybe, yeah. And then look at that. Little floss drops. Yeah. Little floss drops with like yeah. information. Such a good idea. And we met Milta, who is also within a couple hours of us. Mm -hmm. um, she is Mega Stitches 24, I think, on Instagram, and just Mega Stitches on YouTube. I think that sounds yeah. right. Yeah. Um, again, recaps. Like, there are so many great recaps out there. That's why we were like, can we add anything to this? No, like, everyone's are so detailed, too. And, like, at this point, we sat down and we were like, what happened? Like, what day was that? Yeah. What? So. Yeah. But she also made with her doll. Like, yeah. everyone's making it with pets. I love it. Yeah, her dog Luna. Luna. Floss drops. Yeah. Milka plus Luna. Adorable. It's so cute. Yeah. Um, we met Shandria, mm -hmm. who is Shandria Carroll. Also local. Yeah, like, very local yeah. to us. Yeah. Um, and she made little orc catchers. Look at this. Look how clever. So it like sits up and I like to put, did I show you this trick yeah, last your time? your needle minder. Like you put a needle minder on there and it stays down. And then. And you have a needle minder. And you have a needle minder. Yeah. And when you're done, it just folds up flat. So you can like put it in your project bag or whatever and trans, and yep. transport. That's the right word. Ish. Yeah. Ish. Yeah, transport's right. Okay. Um, so it just like goes in your bag with you, and it's so handy. Yeah. Um, and we met Jamie, who unfortunately not local, but no, no, we got to meet Jamie. She can move. There you go. Just move closer. Yeah, everyone should your just life. move closer. <laughs> yeah. So Kentucky's yeah. great. Tara, we'll we'll need you to move as well. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Um, but Jamie made us each like our own little personalized bag of goodies. Yeah. And it's so sweet. So like. I got a pair of pink scissors. Mine were black. With little swans. Mine were skull and crossbones. <laughs> it's like she knows us. Like I she's know. Watched. Um, I think these were the same. Yeah, the black shops. and gold. Yeah. Yeah. Really pretty flowers. And we got each got a counting pen. And a needle minder. A needle minder and a charm. Um, yeah. Zipper pool, right? Yeah. Zipper pool? And a bird needle minder. Yes. Love it. So fun. Yes. And then we got to meet Michaela, who is Cinematic oh. Stitches. Mm -hmm. um, another good recap. Should check it out. Uh, and sitting like one table beside us, uh, we had Aaron, another Aaron, another mm -hmm. Aaron W, actually. Yeah. Which was fun. Um, and her Instagram name is 
E.W. French knots. <laughs> and when Hillary met her, it was like, ew, French knots. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, the rest of the, the weekend I heard her saying, yeah, it's ew, French knots. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, Hillary started a trend. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and she made really smart little needle minders that I have on a project for later, but uh, they're, I think, ribbon sliders. So your needle tucks in. It's not just sitting on top. Which I feel like that'd be safer for travel. Yeah, you know, like yeah. Put it in there for travel. And Hannah said it's really helpful for her because her cat will paw at her needle. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. So brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also spent some time with Chelsea, mm -hmm. who at the table on the other side, um, she did some late night stitching with us. So mm -hmm. um, her mom was there, Connie, as well. So mm -hmm. got to hang out with them, and yeah, it was an amazing time. Keepsakes team made it just. Incredible. So easy yeah. and everything optional, everything really fun. Um, yeah, can't wait for next year. And we actually, um, Hillary and Amity and Tara and I have already signed up for Stitch North yes. in October. So I think there are still spots if anyone wants to mm -hmm. go hang out in Canada. Yeah. I've never been. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. I need to get my passport this week. You definitely need to get your passport. <sighs> yeah. Okay. And hope it gets here in time because yeah. it said three months. Right. Yeah, you got this. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, let's do that Monday. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Um, so other stitchy kindness wanted to thank our friend Donna. Oh, our who, lovely friend Donna. Yeah, who sent us uh, some amazing patterns. And it was really like she had somehow seen our wish list. Yeah. And had these patterns that she said she was not going to have time to stitch. So she sent them to us. Even though she retired. She retired last week. Mm -hmm. So Donna. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Um, and I'm so jealous mm -hmm. because her boss got her a camel. I was just jealous because she was retired. <laughs> I was like, yep, same. Yep. That, that too. But her boss got her a cameo from Purred Happily on Parks yes. and Yes. I love it. Yeah. Um, so huge congratulations mm -hmm. and a huge thank you to Donna. Yes. And we'll talk more about those patterns throughout because we already have some sent in our plans yeah yeah so, so i'm already kitted up yeah <laughs> and ready to go <laughs> it's true yeah but, um and we also had another form of stitchy kindness mm -hmm. um stephanie from cross stitch the globe released i guess now about two weeks ago three weeks ago it sounds right yeah something like that um a new booklet and it is so fun it was a like a, a really cool concept so she had taken she's a travel photographer travel writer and had taken photos of a bunch of different places um, that were actually locations for the Game of Thrones Yeah, and put them all together in a booklet and offered to, uh, for us to give one away as a giveaway. So um, I am going to admit I've never watched the Game of Thrones. Well, I was so excited when I got here because anybody was like, oh. oh, I watched the Game of Thrones. Trailer. trailer. <laughs> so. I mean, the trailer looks fun. You've watched it. I have watched it. I didn't realize you watched yeah. it. But, yeah. I mean, it looks fun. Like, people have blue eyes sometimes. Yeah, it's like, real cool blue fun's eyes. Fun's a weird word for it, but yeah, it's good. It's really good. Is it not fun? Parts of it are fun. It's, uh... There's a lot of, like, slashing. <laughs> yeah. And blue eyes. Slashing and blue eyes. <laughs> so yes. there's this is why you don't want a stitch con recap from us. <laughs> but there was stitching. Yeah, stitching. By people. People. Yeah. Um, um. No, but okay. So, from a perspective of you've seen Game of Thrones, yeah. I have not. Like, I, as you'll see later in my plans, like I'm going to stitch one of the designs from the book, um, just because it appealed to me. Like. Not because I necessarily knew it from Game of Thrones. Yeah, but there's beautiful landscapes. There's beautiful landscapes, yeah. yeah. So I feel like even if you've never seen Game of Thrones like me, the patterns are so good. And um, I'm, we're very excited to be able to give one away. Yes. Yeah. So. Just watch the trailer and then you'll... You'll know the whole thing. You'll see how fun Blue it is. Blue eyes, slashing. Fun. Fun. I there mean, was more. There were like some dragony things and fighting. There, there are definitely dragony things. There's a lot of fighting. There you go. Um, yeah. So to enter but, the giveaway, it's going to be a PDF pattern that Stephanie will directly email to you. So um, no age restrictions or anything on this. Like the winner will just need to provide their email. Yep. And we're going to use the word 
fire. I never said the, uh, the name of the book, but. Oh, no. Yeah. Cross Stitch of Ice and Fire. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so we'll use the word fire. There's probably fire in the trailer. I can't say for sure about the trailer, but there's some I fire. I think there was. Yeah. I'll watch an episode. I would like for you to watch an episode, and then we can talk about how fun you think it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um... Okay. Anyway, thank you very much, Stephanie. Um, yes, and congratulations. And congratulations. Yeah. The, the booklet is amazing. Yeah. So. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. Um, and then my last bit of stitchy kindness. So uh, Jen, who is Jen's Fiberweb on Instagram, uh, she posted a story. She also knits. It was like mm -hmm. so good. And she posted a story about like all these shawls that she made and had just sitting in her closet because um, she's a process knitter. Mm -hmm. and if you're wondering what we mean by like process stitcher or knitter, mm -hmm. um, Cross Stitch the Globe, which is Stephanie and Allison, also mm -hmm. sisters, uh, did a really good video explaining what that means. So you should definitely check it out. Yeah. Um, but so Jen is a process knitter and she posted a story on Instagram and said like, would, do you think that like hand or hand, you know, knitting, handmade shawls would make a great gift? And the answers were like, yes no, I'd rather make them myself, or no, anyway. And so many people were saying, no, I'd rather make them myself, and I sent her a message like, I am floored by this. Like, mm -hmm. they're so pretty, I do not understand. And she's like, oh, well, if people are knitters, like, they, they probably make a lot of them. Um, so she said she had a closet full of them that she doesn't uh -huh. really wear. And we figured out that, like, I cannot knit. I've tried to learn a million times. Okay. Crocheting, knitting, the game Euchre. People have tried to teach me them a hundred times, and I just don't. Mm -hmm. My brain just doesn't retain the information for some mm -hmm. reason um so she said she can't sew at all so i was like hold on we'll have an exchange program so exchange program yes i made her a project bag and she sent me the most amazing shawl it's so pretty the Look colors this. are so i like pretty these it's like a sampler like a knitting sampler like they're all different like help you hold this thank you they're all different stitches stitches yeah. Yeah. I love it so much. Um, that is so fun. Right? So she sent me that and she sent some... I want you to show this card so bad. I know. Some amazing little patterns, which is perfect because I've been looking for just like little quick patterns for when I travel. Um, and there were some stickers and all kinds of amazing stuff. But I opened this card and my first thought was, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show this to Amity. It's the best. And then I looked on the, and it, her son drew it and she had it made into cards, which is just like brilliant. Such a cute idea. So thank you so much, Jen. Mm -hmm. And yes, I love it very much. So, yeah. I will legit frame that card. I love <laughs> that card so, so good. much. Um, okay. So we're going to move on to, we had a giveaway. We had a couple of giveaways on our last video when Amity mm -hmm. um, launched her new Shits Creek pattern. Mm -hmm. And so- That's so, a crazy face. You I did. Like... <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be, YouTube recommends the craziest thumbnails mm -hmm. for like the, what you see on YouTube for the video. I guarantee, like that's gonna be one. Yeah. It's your crazy face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, I hope you pick that one. Mm -hmm. It'll be a fun surprise. Yeah. Um, so we, Amity was going to give away two patterns so the word for that was fold and yep. we had two winners the first was potential expression mm -hmm. congratulations if yep. you'll send us your email, email. to hathawaystitchers at gmail.com yep. we'll get it out to you and then the second winner was emma beckman 6022 congrats to you as well so same thing just yep. send us your email we also yep. had a fun find a joanne fabrics mm -hmm. of some um Rose Puff carry fabric. So we're going to make project bags for two people. And the winners were oh. um, Nick, who's Cotterell Family mm -hmm. 7355. And then um, the other one was the 310 stitcher. Mm -hmm. And we don't know if that's like DMC 310 or, or like 310, code. the area code. Yeah. Not zip code. Not area zip code. code. Yeah. Area code. Yeah. Um, either way, congrats. Yeah. yeah. And then um, also wanted to celebrate hitting a subscriber milestone last time. So mm -hmm. we were gonna give away two uh, custom portfolios. 
and the word for that was friends. And the winners of that uh, first one was Kelly Walker. Yay. Congrats. And then the second one was KBH Stitches, Karen. Karen. Yeah. So okay. congrats to everyone. Um, for the bags and the portfolios, if you will send us an email, uh, just want to figure out like what size you want and fix some fabric on the portfolios. Yep. So we'll get those going. Um, and those we will need physical addresses. Yes. For. And we will comment on your comment. Yeah. So you know that you won. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you for commenting. Um, we missed that at the beginning. Thank you to everyone who watches oh, and yeah, subscribes. We... And we tried so hard to organize. So hard. Um, but we'll get there. We got this. Yeah. Um, all right. So okay. I hope you're sitting down because we're Aaron going to talk has... about finishes. Three finishes. Three. Yeah, and that never happens. Mm -mm. So that's I exciting. Have one. It's a good one, though. It's a good one. I'm yeah. excited. So I announced on Instagram uh, my next release that I just finished not too long ago is Bubble Birds. I it's so good. It. I can't remember. Did I show it the whole thing last time? Or just was it blurry last time? It was blurry. Oh, okay. Yeah, bubble birds. Bubble birds. <laughs> um, so yes, this uh, was released about a week ago, I think. Mm -hmm. You can find it on my Etsy. And the model is just stitched on 32 count antique white Lugana. And it's charted with 19 DMC colors, um, but obviously always welcome to change things. I love it. I love it when people change things up. Make it your own. Make it your own. So yeah. And it's like, I mean, relatively small. 6,773 stitches. Yeah. Like, compared to Schitt's Creek. It's like, compared <laughs> to Schitt's Creek, which is like 53,000. Yeah. It's like tiny. But, and in the pattern, I also provide all the numbers. So like, if you wanted to do it, if you're doing it like next year or something, you can like adjust oh, nice. the year for whatever you want. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. That was it. That was my only finish. Now let's go to yours. Well, hold on. What? We should thank Alex <gasps> One for coming up with the name for the pattern. This is true. This is true. I forgot. There's a sale. Mm -hmm. It starts tomorrow, which is... That's right. July 1st. July 1st. Um, hosted by Salix underscore stitches. Alex. Alex. Um, it's called Bobbles All the Way Sal. And we'll like put it up here. Yep. And I also forgot I was going to do a giveaway. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, we've been prepping for this video for the past three hours. Mm -hmm. so. It's a lot of organization. Yeah. We're um, also not the most focused about it. Like, oh, while we're doing this, how about this floss toss? True. <laughs> like, true. Yeah. Uh, a little bit sidetracked. Mm -hmm. But um, so, yeah, to celebrate the release, I was going to give away two, two patterns. Nice. And um, just PDF patterns like normal. So you just need email address. Mm -hmm. And the word is bobble. So B A U B L E, bobble. Sounds good. Yeah. One more look. Yay. I told Aaron this frame is so light. It's like weighs nothing. It's like, like, I feel like I'm gonna throw it at the camera. Whoop. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Now. All right. Now. Now that I get everything. Now it's your turn. Yeah. Um. So I had three finishes. I honestly don't know how it happened. I think because they were small, and I was just like focused. So. Um, the first one so is Pray For Me, I'm Stubborn, and it was a start at StitchCon. Mm -hmm. um, the pattern is from Lucy Beam, Love and Stitches, and it's a series. So there's Pray For Me, I'm Stubborn, Pray For Me, I'm Bitter, Envious, and Petty. So we had a whole crew who started this mm -hmm. at StitchCon, and we'll put a picture of everyone here with their starts. Yeah. Um, Super cute patterns. I mine's on eighteen. I forgot to say the fabric. Mine's eighteen count bestitch me cold foam, mm -hmm. and I did two of the called for colors and then subbed out um, two four different bestitch me silks. Um, so yeah, it was really fun. I enjoyed it, um, and it was the pray for me sal, which mm -hmm. is still going. Uh, mm -hmm. There's been some other people join, which is fun. So yeah, definitely still available if you yeah. would like to join. Um, my, throw it over there. my, there's so much stuff, it's a lot true. of stuff. My second finish was 
um, Strawberry Time by Barbara Anna Designs. And it was on in the summer 2019, oh, I just put PNPS, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. Mm -hmm. And a 14 count stone from Fiber on Whim with a call for floss. It was another stitch con start for the Strawberry Moon Sal, mm -hmm. which is hosted by Marjorie Maid. And it's been so much fun to see all the strawberry patterns there's, that everyone's working on. I mean, I knew on. there was a lot, but like, yeah, there's been so many I haven't seen, yeah. like that are brand new to me. It's so cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was a fun, fun start. Finished it on Strawberry Moon, which was nice. Um, and we got to meet Marjorie at StitchCon. So nice. And yeah, she was so nice. Um, so Marjorie was there with uh, not all of, but some of the, the girlies were there. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember seeing a floss tube a while ago where someone was like, do we have a name for that group of people yet? Like, <laughs> do we have a name for the... <laughs> so, glad that they're the girlies. Mm -hmm. um, so, we got to meet we got to meet Cam from Cam the Stitcher, mm -hmm. um, Elizabeth from Frizzy Lizzie Stitches, and, and she did a really cool, like, pass-around project. Oh, yeah. With um, 324, mm -hmm. 324, whatever that pattern is, uh, but where people got to pick a motif on that and pick their favorite... Um, Favorite floss and stitch with that. I think next time, because mm -hmm. I was not prepared. I did not have a favorite floss. Right. I think I'm just going to continually travel with like a favorite. That's a good idea. In case something you comes never up. Know. You should never know. You never know. Yeah. Um, and then Bridget, the museum stitcher, mm -hmm. and Rachel from Lemonade Stitching, who we met once before mm -hmm. uh, at Keepsakes. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun to meet them and so nice. And it was so fun that they got to hang out in person. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was fun for them, I bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so lovely to meet you all. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you then, want me to hold on to this one on my side of the table? No, that's okay. I'll keep it over here. Thanks, though. But I have, I can make room. I almost framed it. I would have blown oh, your mind if I had a yeah. fully finished object. Yep. Um, and then my last, um, oh, start and finish. We forgot SAF, mm -hmm. start and finish, um, was Harlequin. It's part of the Harlequin Halloween booklet from Cosford Rise Stitchery. It's so I love him so much. Uh, it's on 18 Count Bayou from Atomic Ranch. Um, mostly the called for. I swapped the, like, behind the hat it was originally just the same white as the skull. So I switched it for cotton candy from almond M&Ms, which I got at StitchCon. And then uh, just... Which is really cool. I love it. It's like, so fun. Like, it's like party floss. I should have bought more of it in hindsight. Probably. I wonder if they have any more keepsakes. Oh, maybe. Okay, we'll fuck. Okay, more to come on that. Mm -hmm. And then I swapped his little mask for a twall. Um, but I wanted to start, like, I knew I was going to do a lot of Christmas stitching in July for Christmas in July. So I really wanted to start something Halloween ish. Yeah. So, um, That's adorable. Yeah. The only other, so not a finish that we did, but we got to see a finish. Oh. Of, yeah. Of, well, it was of like bird heard but um with no words no words yeah, yeah it was just like the top part mm -hmm. um yes it was so fun we got um special permission mm -hmm. to run mm -hmm. up to weekend b for stitch con because the lady that finished it cindy cindy yes was um bringing it as a, a finish for the brag table and was like hey is there i wonder if there's any way we could like meet up to see it and, yeah um her finish oh my like, gosh blew me away she had a stained glass frame made for it like custom stained glass it was so pretty yeah we have a picture we do so <laughs> so we got to meet cindy and we got to meet her sister julie yes and, and her friend judy mm -hmm. um so we got to talk to them which was great mm -hmm. and they had this and we were looking at it and she was like yeah it's actually cheaper to get the stained glass frame made than it is to just normal just framing like a frame like she's a like except like this back piece because it was like this special kind of glass and they don't have any more of it at this place. If you had to replace it, it would be like $1,200. I don't know, something. I it was, was something like crazy. And, something. and she tells Amity, she tells us this while Amity's holding like, it. I was like, and then like in all the pictures, Amity's like, like so <laughs> nervous. Like, I was so afraid <laughs> I was going to drop it. Something yeah. was going to happen. Yeah. Like I was. I was very nervous. Yes. So it, and Aaron took a lovely picture of me. Oh, there, oh I, I took a lot of pictures of you, and in every one you're just like, like holding it, like, it's yeah. So because I did not want to drop it. I understand. Yeah, I would not 
when to drop it either. So, um, but one it was great fun to... thing mm -hmm. is that's going to be at Keepsakes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, they're going to hang it up at Keepsakes. And Very I thought, fun. I'm excited. Yes. So lovely to meet them as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah. amazing finish. Yeah. yeah. I'm really, I'm so happy I got to see that in person. Yeah. Because she sent a photo and I was like, that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But then you like hold it, hold it nervously. Yes. And get to see it. Like it was incredible. Yeah. So. Um, all right. Yeah. So those are our finishes. We're on to starts. Oh, yeah. We had another Sal. They just happen. Sal's just happen. Yeah. At, um, at StitchCon. So well, just all the time. Yeah. So we have um, starts for Beach Rat, mm -hmm. which is a pattern from the Artsy Housewife. Yeah. And mine is white stitching. <laughs> that you can barely see. You can tell it's going to be good, though. It's going to be good. The fabric's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, mine's on, if I didn't count the Stitch Me Lugana, but it's um, like one of the month ones that don't have a name mm, or anything, yeah. so it's just a, a no-name fabric, but yeah. loved it. It was kind of like sandy, beachy, yeah, a little nice bit beachy. So. Yeah. And my, this worked out so well, where I was at the annex at the cutting table, and they had a pile of just different neutrals, and I was like, oh, this is really pretty. So I bought, before we knew we were doing this, I bought... I accidentally bought the called for fabric. Mm -hmm. So it's 18 count Shrekies tan from Needle Bling Designs. Um, so that worked out really well. Yeah. I am 4.7%. I'm 1.65. Hey, yo. Yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, amazing crew uh, that started this. We had mm -hmm. um, all of our table mates. We have a picture, don't we? Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, a picture. Yep. Um, yeah, we had all of our table mates plus um, Jesse Marie from Jesse Marie Does Stuff, uh, Amy, who's Amy underscore Parrot Six, mm -hmm. and Michaela from mm -hmm. Cinematic Stitches, and then oh yeah, some people we mentioned earlier. So oh, and Aaron, another Aaron, another oh, Aaron. I'll put my picture of the three, three of the Aaron's. There was a fourth Aaron that we didn't get to meet. I know, but so three of the Aaron. So mm -hmm. who's walking? underscore in underscore stitches um and then yeah hillary tara shandria tasha michelle the whole list i'm just wondering what order you're going because you're jumping all around i'm just making it my own i'm just letting it happen yeah. <laughs> yeah. um and we you can make this with or without words oh yeah the pattern comes with the word beach rat or without yeah and i did not even consider for a second that there was a second meeting to it because I was like, haha, we're calling this seagull a beach rat. Yeah. Just like, you know, you like call that's pigeon, what the birds call it. pigeon street rats or, yeah. you know. Um, so I was like, haha, definitely going to stitch it. And Hillary said she was not mm -hmm. going to stitch it. And I was like, oh, weird. Why would you not want to? Yeah. It's so funny. And then in her floss tube, she says, I'm not a beach rat. Like, I don't like going to the beach. And I was like, oh, it can mean two things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No clue. Yeah. So you were going to stitch the words. I was. I'm not now. I hate the beach. Like the beach tried to stop Amity from cross stitching. Like it did stop me from cross stitching. Yeah. Okay. So there was like, an umbrella incident. There was an umbrella incident. We went to the beach on vacation, just one day to the beach, which was one day too many. And my in laws had like put up like you know like nice umbrellas because I was literally just gonna sit in a chair. I felt like garbage. Um. So I sat down in the chair and was in their chair like three seconds and here comes the umbrella flying out of the sand. So I like went to like grab it and jam my finger. So it's like real, still, still real so big. Puppy. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't hold my cue snap. Like I, I would be so bummed. Like I you're like, so yes, miserable. vacation. I'm mm -hmm. going to get so much stitching done. And then, yeah. So like I already wasn't feeling well. I couldn't, I, I made sure to put one stitch in every day so I could keep she my streak, streak alive. Yeah. But yeah, like it was so painful, but now I can at least move it. There, you're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as painful until I jammed it bringing in stools in here. Right yeah. So. Oh, and what and you have to say? And plus like sand, it's horrible. The texture's horrible. It was hot. There was like 3,000 mile an hour wind on my air the whole time. Oh, and then so I had to hold this umbrella. <laughs> But he was like the umbrella holder. Like, I, if I let it go, it was going flying down the beach. So I sat in my chair holding this umbrella for two hours and had the weirdest, like, sunburn going halfway down my arm. So you had a great time is what it you're saying. It was great. I'd go back in a second. Yeah. Can't wait for another vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, we forgot to say the beach rat sal was hosted by uh, oh, yeah. Chandra from Chandra Carol, mm -hmm. Hillary from Subpar Stitches, and Tara from Little Woman Crafts. So, um, and they were literally just like in the annex, and we're like, "I'm buying that. I'm buying that." And they were like, "Let's sell this." Yep. Okay, it's a thing now. Sell it up. Yeah. Sell it up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. On to your starts. Okay. Um, so my first start was at StitchCon, and it was also for the Strawberry Moon Sal, hosted by Marjorie Maid, and I picked, um, Posh Strawberry Picnic by Artful Offerings. And I have the smallest start that I have to frog, because I messed up. Oh no, all of it? Yeah. Well, I don't know, I don't remember now where I messed up. I think I messed up in the green, so like it throws off the brown. Mm, that's a bummer. Yeah. But. Can't just fudge it. Boo, okay. No. Um, but this is on a 32 count, the Stitch Me, un, you know, no name fabric. And I actually changed it. I was gonna do a different the Stitch Me, I think. I remember, yeah. No, 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 it wasn't. It was from 123. Oh, okay. Lichen? Mm hmm. Lichen. Um, and then I decided I wanted it to be pink. So it's kind of, you can see a little bit of the pinkish hue. Yeah. I like that. It's good for a strawberry pattern. Yeah. So I'm definitely gonna finish, you know, frog it, work on it more. Yeah. I was bummed. But that's okay. It'll be easy enough to fix. And then okay. it'll be correct. There you go. will be happy. You can go on with your life. Yes. Go on with your stitching. That's right. Now that I can. Yeah. Okay. And then I did not finish the... Is it just called Petty? Or is it called Purple oh. Man Petty? Like, is yours called know. Stubborn? I have no idea. I don't know the okay. answer to that. So this is either called, like, Petty or Pray For Me on Petty or whatever by, by Lucy Bean. Uh, Love and Stitches, and this is on my absolute favorite gray fabric. Um, 32 count be Stitch Me Gray Magic, which you got me some more. I did. On Fright Night. Fright Night. Yeah. Um, there were two pieces, and I only got one. I wasn't fast enough to get both. I know. I tried. Right. I wasn't fast enough to get any because I was yeah. asleep. I was mm -hmm. sick. Yep. But yeah, so I have a small start, and I did a full floss conversion. Which I'm not going to show all the floss because I have not learned how to hold stuff yet. I said I would by this video and I didn't. Every time we're trying to pick a thumbnail, she's like, nope, I'm making a claw. Oh, yeah. I'm like, why do I hold things like this? Yeah. Like, everything's weird. Um, but, yeah, so I do love the conversion. It's really pretty. It's like, I know it's like a Mrs. Seda silk, silk's for you. Um, do you happen to remember the brand on, like, the clothes? The like wood clothes. Oh thing. gosh, I don't. We'll put it somewhere. Put, we'll spread it somewhere. Yeah. Um, there's like the stitch me silk. Like it's mm -hmm. a whole bunch of different kinds. But so yeah, I am excited. I think I I will keep working on this because I want to finish it. I really like that gold. That's the silks for you. Yum. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay. Is that it on that? Um. Yeah. So my. Next start, again, trying to like get some Halloween stuff started before mm -hmm. all the Christmas stitching is oh, I didn't, that's okay. Spooky Teapot from Tiny Modernist. And it is on an 18 count fabric from Banana Oil with the Call for DMC. And, oh, my needle minders. Mm -hmm. A little possum playing a banjo from Grandma Girl Designs. Love it. Um, but, so this was a pattern Andy and I made advent calendars for each mm -hmm. other last year from December 25th through January 1st and she got me this pattern and the floss mm -hmm. so I love it on that fabric oh, thank you I feel like it looks spooky mm -hmm. or like magical kind mm -hmm. of. magical yeah. is a good mm -hmm. mystical very Myst that's it mystical. that's the word yes. yep um and I am it's a little pattern mm -hmm. so I'm 27 percent done oh wow yeah the teapot's like the, the chunky part yeah there's like a little ghost and bird and then some stuff on the bottom. Very nice. So it's a really cute pattern. It's fun. Very nice. All right. My next start was for Raccoon June, mm -hmm. um, hosted by Michelle Bendy Stitchy and Chinook. Chinook. Chinook mm -hmm. Factor. Um, so this one is kind of like a mystery. It's from a book I showed last time, Wild Animals and Cross Stitch. And it has just like all different kinds of wild animals mm -hmm. um but this one didn't have a picture of the finish just, the, just pattern. the pattern so it was like based off the styles of all the others i was like i think this is gonna yeah. be great so 
Um, this is just called Raccoon. And I did the face. Look at his little chunky arm. He's got like the cutest little hand and the chunkiest arm. It's pretty accurate though. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Like his eyes are a little wonky. I love it. And I am obsessed with I him. I love him. I am obsessed with him. Like I started, I wanted to for sure get the face in and then I started like, you can see like the gray a little bit. So it was like, I think most of his body's like stripes like mm -hmm. this in different yeah. colors. That's fun. So I'm excited to see how it looks. But this is on 32 count cornflower by, um, by Ron Wynn. And I picked this because I also want to do the chipmunk and the chipmunk was on a blue. So I was like, I'm going to like make these match. Yeah. And I'm so excited about yeah. him. Um, it might have to be Raccoon July and there you Raccoon go. August I'm fine with that. and Raccoon yeah. September. Um, look at, he's just so cute. That arm. The arm is like, I like his little hand. We do have super fast critter crew update. It is full blown baby season around here. It is yeah. the best. So we have four baby raccoons that have been hanging out mm -hmm. around our house and they're just crazy and adorable mm -hmm. um so we have that amity has my okay aaron gets all the baby raccoons mm -hmm. um we get all the baby skunks literally a dozen there were the other night there were 12 out there well that includes the mom oh and well that's, okay that's like the mom and maybe the dad like i can't tell yeah um but yeah so we had 12 skunks total so probably like 10 babies they're so cute and my favorite little baby is like almost all black. He has like the tiniest little white spot on his head and he's Yeah. They're they scared cute. off a raccoon the other day. Kind of. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. They didn't you, have you ever seen how like skunks or baby skunks especially, they put their like, brakes on. run up on something, like put on the brakes? Like they were doing that at the raccoon. Yeah, and then, like the raccoon looked up and I think saw my husband and I in the like door and got spooked by us, but I'm saying yeah, that the baby raccoon, the baby, the baby raccoon, skunk. Or yeah, the baby skunks were like, yeah, we yeah, did that. Scared that raccoon away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. adorable. They are yeah. the cutest. And I saw one baby possum. I have not. Like, oh my goodness! Just if like, I saw a mama possum with, with babies, baby. yeah, it would be the end. That'd be good. Yes, yeah. our skunks are so cute. I don't think I have a picture of all twelve. I'll put. I'll okay. find some kind of picture. We have a picture with a lot. A lot. A lot of skunks. Because yeah. some were in the front of the house, most were in the back. Yeah. But. I wonder what you call a group of skunks. You know how, like, mm. a group of crows is a murder and a group of... I bet they have a cute name. Stinkies. Yes. It's a stank. Stink. <laughs> I don't know, but... We're going to look that I'm up. We're going to look that up because yeah. I'm curious. Yeah. That's the educational part <laughs> of our yes. video. Yeah, that just happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Black cherry tart. Black cherry tart. So I started this one. This was, I wanted it to be a start and finish on vacation. Um, then. Finger, yeah. sickness, every plan's Umbrella. changed. Umbrella. Yeah. Um, so it was, I mean, for the size of the pattern, it was a pretty good start. This is Black Cherry Tart by Plum Street Samplers. And it's stitched on 32 count stone Lugana by Five on a Win. And I got pretty far. This is a paper pattern, so I don't know. Um, but you'll be able to compare with the, yeah. the photo. Um, yeah, because it's a tart, so it's not huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought, like, maybe actually finishing it like a tart. Oh, like, look at you. Maybe. And I also thought, like, maybe it could be, like, a smalls exchange. Would people like that? I think so. I, I love know. that idea. I'd be happy if I got that. You'd be happy with a bird tart? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd give it to you, but... I'd be excited. Like, oh, cool. I'm giving that away. Well, no, because you would like it more. So. I don't know. I'm still nervous about Smalls Exchange. I probably won't, but. Because they're just so lovely. Like, we saw so many. Like, yep. so many lovely finishes. And I just get in my head about it. But. I think you should do it. We'll see. Anyway. I was happy with the progress I made with, under the circumstances. Yes. That I was given. You did the best you could. I did the best I could, okay? Um, all right, so my next start was actually the restart of Cactus Cat. And I got pretty far. I did, oh, it doesn't work in Pattern Keeper. I don't know. Mm. 
Um, I don't know. But this is on 28 Count Whisper Lugana. And it's, I just forget how, it's so nice to work on 28 Count. I was going to ask, because like usually you're 32 Count. I'm way. like 32 Count, but I like kitted this up so long ago. Mm. And it's just so like. Does it feel so easy? It is. Like it giant? feels really yeah. easy. But I, and I like the way my stitches look. Like they're more defined than they are in 32 Count. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There might be more. Well, there will be more 28 count stitching, which you'll see in my oh, you thing yeah. later. But I don't know. I like it. Yeah. So I worked on it a couple days. Um, I did work on this for a sow that, oh, Erin, what is it? Okay. It's Stitching Catterday. Yeah. Stitching Catterday Sow, hosted by Carla.stitches.in.stuff on Instagram. So I worked on, I started it. And then um, worked on it a little bit at StitchCon for that. But the first one, I was farther than I thought I was um, that I showed last video. And it's almost like it could be a finish if you frog a few things. Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Um, so I like threw it out there that if anyone was interested in adopting this um, for a finish or a whip or really whatever, um, to reach out. And I actually had like... Few, like yeah, quite 20 a few people. people or so mm -hmm. reach out. Um, so we decided to treat it like a giveaway and we put everyone that had either reached out in email or comments and did like a random name generator and got a winner that we will send it to. So um, Eleanor Needlewoman can give this a good home. Yes. Which I think her comment was just about being a cat parent. She'd be a good parent too. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, if you don't mind sending us your address and we will get it mailed out. There you go. And again, ignore the back. It was pre-loop start and it's a little bit chunky, but I'm excited that it will have a good home. It'll have a good home. Like yeah. somebody will potentially do something with it. Like it would literally just sit in a drawer. Yeah. So, okay. So this next one, we are just calling nature sampler. It is a pattern we got off Etsy. Um, I say we, we're, um, friends Serena and I are doing a sow called the squished bird sow, um, because as you'll see in the pattern, I think we showed it last time, like there's this bird that like, doesn't have a neck. Like no neck. It's Just like, like all squished. Nothing. Um, yeah. so we decided to call it squished bird sow. Actually, Serena came up with that and I was like, perfect. That's it. Love yep. it. Um, it's a design by Tinsel Cross Stitch on Etsy and we were planning on starting it, I think, on the 15th, and I got everything out and went to, like, cut my fabric and realized my fabric was too small. Boom. Had not looked at the size. Yep. Like, I realized it was a big pattern. I had seen it finished, but I just thought, like, oh, it'll fit on, you know, what I had. No, not the yeah. case. So, I wanted to do it on dark fabric. Mm -hmm. Dark gray. Actually, can I use oh, yours as a model? Yeah. I was, um, this is Aaron's haul, but I was going to do it on this desk by Fiber and a Whim. And when I held the floss, it was really pulling blue yeah. and less gray. So it was like the only other thing I had that would fit it was antique white. I think so it's... I think the colors pop so well on it, though. So this is just 32 count antique white Lugano. Or even weave. And um, I start I started in the bottom left. I, would, that, I don't know, Aaron. That's weird. Yeah, you're mixing it up. I've decided I like stitching up. Oh, I thought you would have started in the top left so you can get to the squish bird right away. Well, here's the thing. I know it's strange, uh, but okay. So Serena started in the middle. Okay. So she's got, you know, I was able to see her start. Mm -hmm. um, then another lady joined us, Jenny, from Jenny Crafts and Reads. And she started in the top left and got down to the squish bird. Nice. And so I you was get to like, see it. Yeah. Okay. So I've seen that. So I just like wanted to start somewhere different. So like that way if people are following along on the style, which I haven't posted anything yet, but they would be able to see like the pattern like in different areas. That's fun. Yeah. Plus I just wanted to stitch up. And you like stitching up. Apparently. So these colors though. They're really pretty. Mm -hmm. The whole like floss, like the mm -hmm. whole floss, not floss pack, but all the floss yeah. together is really fun. I'm glad you didn't do it. Like this would have been a different vibe. Like do it in the dark. Yeah. yeah. I think I did a mock up and it looked really cool and great. Yeah. But it did, the colors definitely do pop more on yeah. white. So, yay. Okay. 
All right, we're on to whips. Whips. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you get to talk. <laughs> My first whip, which, um, so our whip of the weeks mm -hmm. from many weeks ago, I don't remember. It's been a while. Well, we were going to film before. Uh-huh. Yep. So and... our last whip of the weeks, Amity picked for me, and she chose uh, Dandelions from Alf Forest Embroidery. And it is on 16 count slate from Fabrics by Stephanie, and I'm using the Alf Forest Thread Pack, which I say this every time, I love so much. Mm -hmm. Like the variegation on it, so pretty. Um, and I've only tried the DMC. So they have thread packs with DMC as the base mm -hmm. and a different brand. I, I think it's a Russian Russian brand. brand. Yeah. Um, I've only tried the DMC packs, but they've been they've been really fun. Um, so mm -hmm. my goal was to stitch some of every color. So I added in the blue and the purple and the yellow and I think the light green was new also. So that looks so good. Isn't it? Look how fun oh, the they light are. green. This is mm -hmm. one thread like, like yeah. Um, so it is I'm around 10% done with it now. Yes, because nice. my goal was to get 10. And I think I ended like at 10.01 or something. Look at you with your goals. Percentage goals, color goals. I know, right? Who am I? My goal was like I wanted one stitch in per day. Well, so you had an injury. It's true. Injury and illness. That's true. <laughs> Double <Okay>. whammy. <laughs> so the one Erin chose for me was Inordinate Fondness by Hannah Stitching Designs. So this is on 32 count mustard Milano and I, okay, so let's just break it down. I finished this motif and then this motif right here and then this bug I had to frog out because I had started with a different floss that while beautiful, I did yeah. not, it, it wasn't working for this project. So I um, frogged that and did that. And I still need to get rid of this <laughs> one day. That one's more intimidating to frog than that little little bug. But so I've gotten that much done. I love that fabric. I am obsessed with it, and I can't find it anymore. Oh no! It was from like a big box store that oh yeah um, doesn't sell it, as far as I can tell yeah. anymore. But I'm sure like somewhere has to have a color that way. Yeah. I don't know. If not, we should die. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm pretty far on that. I think it's like 27%. Yeah. And that doesn't include, I'm not including the one I have to, the part I have to frog. Like that's just what's stitched. So. Nice. So. Um, my next whip was Leave Me Alone. I'm cross-stitching. So it was a pattern from the Witchy Stitcher that was on her Patreon um, last, last month, I believe. Um. I'm stitching it on 16 count Slayer from Forbidden Fiber Co. with the called for floss. And I've seen two amazing finishes of it this week. Mm -hmm. um, Alex finished it with a sulky conversion that looked so good. And then um, those missing stitches did, like they converted all the browns to pinks. It was really cool. Yeah, and usually like my brain goes there and I'm like, oh, I should, I didn't even think for a second about converting, converting it. Converting anything? Yeah, but theirs were so pretty. So, um, can you talk about what's happening with your needle minder? Oh yeah. So <laughs> what is that? <laughs> needle minder for Mad for Minders, um, and they have you know how like Renaissance paintings where those mm -hmm. people will say like, hey, have you ever seen a cat mm -hmm. or a dog or a horse or whatever it might be? Like move the needle so you can see it. Um, so it's they have a line of Renaissance cat needle minders. So. It's just a weird it's cat. It's just a from weird, weird looking cat. Painting. I just never noticed that. Yeah. Well, I originally thought it would be funny to put in your advent calendar, but <laughs> if I had, I would have been over budget. You already were. No, I was not. Or I would have put more stuff in, obviously. I was not over budget. So I was like, oh, I'll just keep that for myself. It's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, this is the it's Leave Me Alone good. Sal that um, Elizabeth from Savory Sewing and I are hosting. And mm -hmm. yes, so... Yes, Alex is finished. I uh, said so those missing stitches finished. And um, Caroline from Caroline Stitch Corner is also stitching it. Um, yeah, it's a really fun pattern. I love it. Yeah. So, yeah. It makes me want to join the Patreon. I know. But yeah. If I joined all the Patreons I wanted to, like, 
Yeah, too much. Okay, so the next project I worked on for, what is happening? I don't know. Where's that thread coming from? It's oh. all tucked up in the, oh, probably I was getting out of the way. Um, so this is Act of God by Long Dog Sampler, and it is on 18 account white Ada with five miscellaneous colors. Um, Not miscellaneous. Very oh, well, thoughtfully like, curated. Sorry, I meant like... <laughs> Not the yeah. They're different companies, like different brands is what Fair. I meant. Got it. Um, yeah. I thought you were like, yeah, just random. Just threw that together, like yeah. nothing. No, we like looked at about 40 mm -hmm. color palettes for this. Um, and I'm going to change it. And yeah, you don't love the green. Yeah. So um, hopefully we'll find a new thing for the green. But I worked on this. I started this as a sow um, with Gail. She's hosting it's um, the Act of God Sal 2024, and her Instagram is gw.stitching.depo. And then I worked on it last month for hashtag June Dog. And Andy, the crow stitcher, is hosting that. Nice. Yeah. So I wanted to work on all my long dogs and did not. Oh, you have yeah. so. I forgot about your. That's your okay. July Dog. July dog, August dog. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I hope to get back to this soon. I do want to pick a green soon. And mm -hmm. yeah. um, Do you think like brighter green or? No, I just don't want it to be as camouflagey. I don't want it to be as yeah. like, variegated. Fair. So. Yeah. And I am 1.56%. Okay, so my next whip was the mm -hmm. Salem Sampler from Witch's Garden Crafts. And I started it a while ago and hadn't mm -hmm. hadn't worked on it, but wanted again some Halloween work, uh, before stitching Christmas. before Christmas stitching starts. <laughs> um, so it is on eighteen count purple fabric that we dyed when it snowed mm -hmm. uh, over the holidays with the called for floss, um, which is an amazing Halloween palette. The Halloween oh, that palette. was the ha yep. yeah, that was a great yep. one. Um, it was my travel piece this week. So uh, I finished the big house and I need to post it still for Alex's I like big houses and I can't lie. Yes, because that house took a while. It, it's a lot of stitches, mm -hmm. like deceptive. Um, and I did the spider web and the little pumpkin thing and the trees and stuff on top of the house. So it's been a lot of fun. Very nice. Yeah. You made a lot of progress on that. It's Yeah, it's a fun pattern. I, I forgot to look at my percentage though. I'll have to go back and look at that. Oh, is it a PDF? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right, another long, another long dog. Another long dog. So I put a little bit of work into Saga from Long Dog Sampler. Like before, I just had this little column here. Um, so I added, I was like, with Long Dog Samplers, it's like you discover things as you start stitching. Mm -hmm. And I had not noticed this amazing like bird arch, like... There's so many like birds just going oh, like see. A, like around. Oh yeah. Like I oh had noticed that. So as I was stitching it, I was like, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm really excited. But I was trying to like, you can see up here, just like I did like one leg of the stitch going across. I wanted to like walk up where that this is the bottom left. I wanted to see how big that was gonna be. Yeah. So it's it started bottom left. Again. Again. You, you might be a bottom left starter I now. I don't know. I just, I, I like it. But it was the same deal. Everyone else was starting like top left or middle or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, I want to start somewhere different. And I'm loving, I love all the long dog samplers. But this is stitched on 18 count white Ada with um, kind of a gradient of floss by Cosmo Floss. And it's, I think, 477 to 473. Um, which is like this like purpley brown color. And my plan is it's like the frame to be this darkest and then each kind of vignette that's in the arch will like farther away it's lighter. So it like gives some like depth to oh, it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Like that's my idea, but yeah, we'll see if I can execute said idea. I did a mock-up, so hopefully it like works like the mock-up, but um, are you going to do blends to get between? No, it's like, so for this one, there's like animals, like the animals will be the next darkest and well, 
the up front animals. There's like mm -hmm. a big animal. And then there's like kind of like a hill that would be the next. And then the stuff on the next hill would be another like lighter. And then the stuff in the very background would be the lightest. Got it. So it looks like, like it's yeah. like farther. Yeah. Perfect. In my head, it'll look like it's farther away. But this one was so fun. And it's another one that I just want to like keep going on. But I need to finish others first. So. But. What? I labeled that wrong. It is not, I'm not 67.16%. Um, I'm probably like 1% okay. And I'm not finishing this by November. No. No. But I will continue to work on it. There you go. That's also another stitch on for June dog. Hashtag June dog. Nice. Yeah. Um, all right. My next whip was Stitcher's RSVP. And just now realizing that it's in the queue snap and you can't see it all. See most of it. Yeah, you can see most of it. Yeah. Um, so this is on. Oh, there you go. This is Stitchers RSVP by Posy Patterns by Alicia Paulson, and it is on twenty eight count Diva Lugana from Picture This Plus with mostly called for floss. I'm gonna swap out. There's some pinks that will blend in, so I'm gonna swap that for oranges. And I love this pattern so much. But the pattern's great. The fabric you picked is amazing. I. It's so much fun. I stitched on a little cat for stitching Catterday Sal. Um, but yes, it is the Stitchers RSVP Sal that Alex and I started for her birthday. So, and she is already finished. She is. And she did a sulky conversion. Um, that's super cute. Mm -hmm. So, oh, and while we were at StitchCon, um, Jess, who was sitting like a table away from us, um, mm -hmm. saw that I was working on it and she was like, hey, just a heads up. I just wanted to give you a warning. Like, there's a repeating pattern along this border, like coming, sorry, I should move this right to the back. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this repeating pattern that's like six across, three down, six across, three down, six across. And she's like, heads up, one of them is four down. Like there's just, they had to, you know, had to do it to make it line up for the bottom. Oh, I see it now. You see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's like, I missed it. Like did the whole border, I had to brog it out and go back. Um, so thank you, Jess, for the warning. Mm -hmm. Cause I, you know, you get in the groove. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was, that was very kind of her to, to warn me. Mm -hmm. um, and she also made us adorable little thread beds. Yes, I um, have mine. mine Yours is at your house. Yeah. You're not prepared. I'm not prepared either, but I happen to have my stuff here. Um, yeah, look at that. It has adorable cats on the fabric. One of the cats is wearing glasses. Oh, yeah. Um, in the top. This one. Yeah. yeah. So cute. The whole thing. It's just so accurate. This cat's like climb on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you stitching? Love it. And she said that it, it's so cute. When her mom comes to visit, oh yeah, she'll turn on our floss tube sometimes. So hi Tara, hi Jess's Hello. mom. <laughs> but she doesn't stitch. No, she she's doesn't not stitch. a stitcher. Yeah, but she'll watch it, and I love that. Yeah. Um, oh, and can I show? Like the thread bed's really smart because it has like normal, like you know, felt for your thread and your needles and then it has little pockets mm -hmm. so you can like tuck your scissors in and you can put this through the you would tie it through yeah. the yeah yeah handles what do you call the holes finger holes these are holes finger yes do they have a name i don't know it's probably not handles it's i don't think it's finger holes either Education coming Education. our way. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's like some technical term that no one's ever yeah. heard of. Yeah. Or it's a very common something yes, that everyone just, but us knows. Yeah. I swear we know things about things. Sometimes. And then you turn camera on and it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we are on to your, oh, another raccoon. Another raccoon. You're doubling down on raccoon G. I I know. So I picked back up an old whip. Um which is Forest House's Raccoon by Alforest Embroidery. And I am obsessed with this. You got a lot done. I did. I got the whole little mouse. Mouse um, hole. Yeah. So this is on 32 count cream and sugar Lugana by Fiber on a Whim with the floss pack, the called for floss pack. And yeah, I had the raccoon do laundry and I did this whole like shoe looking thing. <laughs> um, but it's so cute. Look at all that like the detail cracks me up like there's a little spray bottle and just got a couple irons and oh, like that's adorable the laundry basket and the soaps like 
it's so cute. So yeah, my goal, um, I brought this out at StitchCon to work on Outforce Friday at StitchCon, and I wanted to finish this while there, this little vignette, um, and did not, but I did finish it this Friday. There you go. So. Did you post it? No. No. Don't be crazy. No. That's, that's silly. But it's so cute. It is cute. I did change the iron, the legs to the ironing board. Remember I like yep. stitched them and I looked, I was like, I forget, I think it was you and Hillary and I was like, this looks bad. And they were both like, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. That's not, yeah. a, not a good choice. And so I did switch um, the legs, but I, I love it. I'm going to need to like pick one out for us and just focus on it every Friday and get it finished. Like get a finish. That's a good idea. Yeah. Because I want to finish all of these, but it... time, I need more time. Yes. Anyway. You need your finger to heal, and you need more time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and we, so the host of Alforce Friday. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. Allie's is Crafty, and mm -hmm. Stitchy Sarah Reads. And we got to meet Stitchy Sarah mm -hmm. Reads at StitchCon. She was so She's lovely. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and your last but not least. Oh, it's been behind me on my chair. chair. Here, I'll grab it. I ironed it, and I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. So it's just been living behind me on the chair. But I put some work in on point of fifth. Oh, if you can. Um, so at StitchCon, I did this squirrel, and I did most of this archway. But I think I finished this top, like, flamingo thing at home. But, yeah. And you have so I have exciting plan for finishing it. Oh, I do have plans, yes. So this is the full height. Um, my plan was gonna be like to do a kind of like a column per month. So like July, August, September, October, November, and be done by November. And that is still the plan, but at, right before we filmed, I was like, I am going to go over here and do the purple in July so I can go and like complete the full border. That would, that would feel nice. Yeah. That would be the fun milestone. And plus like, it's like half of a, um, it's not a full, it's like half an arch, so it's half the stitching, and there's so many things happening in July. Yeah, July's busy. So I was like, that will be perfect. Yeah. So, yes, I want this to be done by November. Um, oh, I didn't even, did I just completely skip over all the... Oh, stuff about it. Stuff yeah. about it. Long Dog Sampler, 18 Count Ada, um, the gray is DMC3799. And then all the different colors are Cosmo Floss. And so it's just like a gradient that goes down with the lightest at the top, darkest at the bottom. I worked on this for, I almost said Raccoon June. No, <laughs> there's probably a raccoon in there There probably somewhere. is. Um, yeah. June dog. Uh, again, Andy, crow stitcher. Nice. So, yeah. So I did, those were the only long dogs I worked on. I wanted to work on all of mine, but did not get a chance. That's okay. Which is fine. And that one is at 67.17. This one, so, yes, yes, is at 67.17, yeah. not Saga. Um, so this will be my focus this year, and I think next year I'm going to focus on Pandemic to get nice. a finish on that. Yeah. 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 Um, and I'm going to put this here because I'm going to take a picture of it. Before. Oh, well, it's out and ironed. Yes. yes. And that is actually an excellent segue. Speaking of being busy in July and plans. Oh gosh. Yeah. There's too much. <laughs> um, so we are going to talk through plans. So mm -hmm. um, first we're going to pick our whip of the weeks. Yay. So I wanted to pick a Christmas pattern. Oh, I was going to ask you yeah. if you would. Because <laughs> like most of July plans you'll yeah. see are, are Christmas. Yep. So I was going to ask you. Well, it worked out well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I picked, I forget the name of the pattern, but the Modern Folk Embroidery Christmas. Dream of Winter Garden. Dream of Winter Garden, yes. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. That's it. Oh, I love that one. Yep. That one's good, yeah. Yeah. That one's like a, I consider it Christmas. I think most people probably consider it winter, but it has a tree, so it's like. Oh, yeah. Well, I always say it's Christmas. There you go. Oh, I'm excited. Good. I want to get that one out. I picked for you. I wrote it down. <laughs> she got notes. Well, it's it's hard for me to say, and I was like, I have to write this down or I'll forget, but festive, fr 
Frosted Pumpkin Cottage. Cottage. Okay. Yep. I would have written it down too. Okay. It's hard to say. It is, well, yeah. It's hard for me to say. Yeah. Oh, that one's fun. This is a good mix of Halloween and Christmas. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can do it for the Halloween is a lifestyle style. Yep. Yeah. And the X Stitch Xmas. Oh yeah. Six five cells. All the cells. All the cells. <laughs> I told Amity, I was like, I have to stop myself from being like obnoxious mm -hmm. and telling like at StitchCon, like, oh, there's a cell for that. Yeah. Did like, you know yeah, so and so is hosting the yeah, cell? Yeah. You yeah. can join anytime. Yeah. Um, all right. Yay, you have exciting. some starts today. I am. So my plan was while I was on vacation, um, I was gone on June twentieth, which was the first day of summer, and I wanted to start Summer Sucks <laughs> by the witchy stitcher. Um, I'd like taken it down with me, like had everything except the motivation to do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to start that today because at least I will start it in June, which will be there you go. the same month that mm -hmm. it, um, summer started, but I'm going to put that on. Yeah, I'm just using all your haul. Go for it. Yeah. Using all your haul. It's helpful. It's here. Um, I'm going to use 32 count. Uh, Night Sky by Fiber on a Whim, and I feel like that one will be pretty fast. Like it's a pretty simple, yeah, it's not huge, yeah, pretty simple, pretty small pattern. Um, and there's a sow for that. What? Imagine that. Yeah. Um, Summer Sucks Sow, and it's hosted by the Witchy Stitcher. I am very excited. I want to start that one real bad. Good news. Good news. I'm doing it today. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah. And then another one I'm going to start today, which was I'm a little thrown off. Um. Cause I started a sal I was supposed to start like two weeks ago, yesterday on Saturday. So yesterday start I'm starting today. Anyway, it's uh, called Fractor Twelve by the Stitching Spell on Etsy, and I looked like before this and I didn't see it, so I don't know if like oh like the Etsy's gone or just that pattern's gone. I don't. I think the Etsy's gone. Um, I want to say I found the Stitching Spell on a different website at some point. If I'm able to find it, like, of course, I'll include that information. Um, if not, there are several, like, very similar patterns like that on mm -hmm. Etsy. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to start that on 32 Count Mocha by The Stitch Bee. Which, was which is Fabric of the Month. Fabric of the Month, which yeah. you'll see later in the whole. Um, it came at the perfect time. There you so. go. Yeah. I was actually going to do that on Dark Cobblestone, and I was like, no. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. I, can't, I can't do more Dark Cobblestone right now. So, switched it up a little bit. Sounds good. Okay. And then we both have starts for oh, her. the um, Stephanie from Cross Stitch the Globe, mm -hmm. her birthday sal, which is Hello 40 B Day Sal. Mm -hmm. And is any, like, start or work on any pattern from Liz Matthews. So, you have. I'm doing, um, I'm just going to pick up a whip that I started, Bittersweet Village, and put some work in on that. And you have a new start, right? I do. I'm going to start a new pattern. And it was one of the patterns from our friend Donna. Yes. Um, that I was going to take out of here. Oops, there's no glare. Um, so it's called Sleepy Hollow. And I love it so it's much. It's so good. I'm going to have to do that one yeah. too at some point. I love all the little pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Their faces. They're so grumpy. They're, this is my favorite one. This like the grumpy like, yellow guy. I like that guy. Yeah. There's spiders hanging from moons. There's bats. Yeah, I'm going to have to owls. do that one, yeah. Oh, and acorns. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start this. Thank you, Dawn. Yes. Um, okay. Oh, so on July 2nd, um, our friend Julie, Julie, <laughs> Julie, um, started a sow with my Schitt's Creek sampler pattern. And I love the sow name. It's, it's, it's so good. I've asked you thrice now for a sow. <laughs> because Julie probably has asked. She probably, yeah, way more than thrice. Let's be honest. She was very good at encouraging Amity to release this it's pattern true. before she finished it. It's true. Which is a good thing because um, it's a big pattern. It is big. So she started a sow and starts on July 2nd because that was David Rose's birthday on the show. Mm -hmm. So, um... I'm going to just like pick that up and stitch along with everyone else that's doing go. it because yeah. at some point I would also like to finish it. So. That would be good. Yeah. Okay. Then another 
this starts my Christmas now. Okay. So I'm going to pick up Turtle Doves by Pigeon Coop Designs and start that. I have done um, the first one, first day of Christmas, which mm -hmm. was Partridge and Pear Tree. Partridge and Pear Tree? Yes. Yep. Is According right? to the song. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm singing it in my head. Partridge. Yep. Um, I've done that one, and so I'm going to do this next one. Nice. Um, and all of these Christmas ones that I'm going to work on, I'm going to hopefully post and use the hashtag um, XStitchXmas365. 365. X Stitch Xmas 365 hosted by at Allison at the moment from Cross Stitch the Globe and at the Peacock Stitcher. So all month for me there will be Christmas. Will be Christmas. And a few things sprinkled in. There you go. But yeah. Yeah. And then oh my goodness. I've like talked a lot. Well you've got three starts to buy every one start. Okay. So for this Friday, for Al Force Friday, I'm going to start Christmas birds. And um I have I have a floss toss I have to run okay. by Aaron afterwards. There you go. So I don't know what it's gonna be on yet. Um but I did buy the floss pack, so I'll be using that. Nice. Yep. Um, so I am going to start, um, if you saw our stitch with us, and one of the questions that people had oh. asked us was like, is there a pattern you're intimidated by? Mm -hmm. And my answer was like, absolutely. It is uh, Winter Snowfall by Shannon Christine Designs because it's it's a big pattern and there's it's so much just white and there's so much beading. Um, and then- it's Gorgeous, it's so though. pretty like and there are different options in the pattern like you can do it in like white and pink and gold or white and teal and gold and so i think i'm gonna do white and teal um yeah, excellent choice and i'm going to start it on july 1st and so kathy who is kjpct had reached out and said hey we're gonna do a sale for this um you know like you got this you can do it you could yeah so i'm gonna start that for the dma winter snowfall sale and I'm excited slash nervous. Okay. I'm excited. Yeah. It's like my face holding yeah. that pressure. Like, ah. yeah. Well, I do like if beating on Ada is the same as like beating on a Mill Hill kit, then I, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. So, okay. but it'll be pretty. So pretty. Yeah. I've looked at that one too before. When I'm done, you can, it's paper pattern. You can have it when I'm done in like 20 years. In like 20 years. <laughs> Back to you. Back to me. So I'm a little late to the game for this pattern, but um, I wanted to start Berries in Bloom by Hands On Design. It was a free pattern that they released, I believe, last year. Mm -hmm. um, and there is a Sal, like, Stitchy Sister Sal, hosted by Handmade by Sarah W. and Stitched underscore two underscore pieces. Stitched to pieces on Instagram. And I... I think it was like just in between them, but I think it's open. Yeah. Yeah, we put it down. Like, I think I'm it's, sure open. it's open. Yeah. We can double check. We can double check. I'm going to hop on that sow, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I've seen so many, like, every time I see a finish, I'm like, I have to do that pattern. I love it. So. Nice. Finally going to start it. Perfect. Okay. Yep. And another start. <laughs> Next year, I'm not starting this one. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. I can't. I can't do it. Do whatever you want. It's true. Um, I'm going to start Santa's Tree Farm by Brenda Gervais, which I love. The Santa has the best hips. He is hippie. He's hippie. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's another floss toss I have for you. Okay. So I have a whole stack right there okay. of floss tosses. I brought some as well. So. Okay. Um... So I don't know. I, all I know is I have the call for floss. I have kitted that up, but don't know the fabric. Um, and then another one. This is not Christmas, but on Stephanie from Cross Stitch the Globe's actual birthday, which is July 16th, I'm going to start one of the patterns from her booklet, um, which is the Dark Hedges number two. So I believe she had the first one stitched up. Is that what the model was? Yeah. Okay. And... What she's done is like some patterns have like a one and a two and the one will be a smaller pattern that has like a little less detail, little less detail than like number two would be larger with a little more detail. Yeah. Um, and I loved this pattern because 
it again I've never seen Game of Thrones so like I don't have that connection to it but it reminds me of like driving down like my in-laws where there's like all these trees over the um over the road or like my husband's uncle like lives in the country and like it just like gives that kind of vibe to mm -hmm. me so I was drawn towards it and um I loved her like first version and I was like I'm gonna do the second one nice so um it'll be fun to see that like come together so I'm gonna start that on her birthday and I have half of that kitted up we went yesterday uh, to his store and got some DMC and like I kit it up as much as I could hold yeah but <laughs> one handful of DMC well, I had like three projects and I was like holding all I could and like I tried to grab a basket when I walked in and I was like mm -mm, we don't need a basket oh no no I said the baskets are terrible because it all falls through about half the holes in the basket are too big and it was covered in glitter yes yeah you love that Ooh. but um so anyway, I got about half of what I need, yep. but it's enough to get me started. There you go. Um, so my next start, another intimidating project. But I'm You're like really going for I it really next month. I really am. Like, let's just do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. Um, I have a handful of my floss tosses for that. Mm -hmm. Again, like a million flosses to toss. Um, so Alex wants to start it also mm -hmm. and we're going to be brave together and start it on July 6th. So there are a couple of other um, Hawk Run or Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow sales but if you would like to do a new start or if you want to pick it back up we're going to do the Hawk Run Hollow Christmas sale starting mm -hmm. on July 6th. Um, I don't think I'm going to there's 12 panels I think I'm going to do nine of them and change it up just a little bit so I'm excited to start it. That's another one I'm going to do when you're done. And there, you're more than welcome to whenever I... 10 years or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we got the um, Nutcracker Sal... Or sorry, we got the Nutcracker pattern from Twin Peak Primitives. Yeah. I'm going to start with the um, the Nutcracker Sal that starts on July 15th, mm -hmm. which is hashtag TPP Nutcracker Sal, hosted by Pam of Just Keep mm -hmm. Stitching, who is at PG Soap on Instagram. Um, so got that pattern, got the thread pack also at StitchCon and mm -hmm. we were in line kind of looking at it, talking about it. And I was like, I don't know, it's so big. And someone was like, oh, I'm going to make ornaments. So I said, Done. That's so it. are we now. Yep. So yeah, I'm going to make those into separate ornaments and you're going to do that in December. I'm going to wait until December. Yeah. I had so many things already planned for July that yeah. I couldn't add another one. Makes so. sense. Yeah. Speaking of. More Christmas, More Christmas in July. Um, so I did, who discovered, or who told us about Sub Rosa design? Was it Bryce on our? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, we did a stitchy Zoom last month or the month before last? Last month. With uh, Central Kentucky Stitchers. And um, Bryce on there was like, hey, have you heard of Sub Rosa design? And I had not. And you, I don't think you had either, had you? I, or, I think I had a couple in my, did I have them in my cart or I don't remember, but I don't know. I had not bought anything or yeah. looked at it thoroughly, so. So I went on there and ended up getting two patterns. Um, one I'm going to start by the next time we film, which was Christmas time. And it's this adorable bird in a dress. Okay. Uh, so obviously I bought that. Yeah. Um, duh. Duh. <laughs> like, <laughs> obviously yeah um the second one which i'll go ahead and just say it, it'll be like or it'll be a haul we're talking about it here it's fine yeah um i think it's called mary pinky um and it's just a small one it says mary and has gold birds so nice um then oh man it's time i'm excited yeah um another raccoon pattern that i've wanted to start for years like years and years and years um Christmas Caper by Charlie Harper so Harper and Stitches and I, I just I cannot tell you how excited I am to start it it's so cute um obviously there'll be a picture and I might rearrange some things and bump that up sooner uh we'll see there you go we'll see um so I'm excited very very excited to start that yeah. one too nice um, I am going to start 
Happy Christmas from Happy the Prairie Christmas. Schooler. It's a gift from our friend Donna. Um, and I love, like, you don't see many Christmas patterns on black. So I'm very excited about that. Mm -hmm. I think it's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I don't know when, but I'm going to start that in June. Oh, and I just saw July. a little mini. July. Yeah. Little minis on the back. But they, oh, it's like a little stamp. That's yeah, cute. Yeah, but they have the pattern, so I can't show them. Well, but, here, like, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll post a picture of just little minis. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start. Oh, that. they're on the front. Just show oh, them. Oh, yep, yep, they're right yep. There. They're hanging out on the side there. Yeah. So those are cute. I'm going to start Happy Christmas. One of the, I have one that Donna sent that I'm going to start too. And I think Aaron and I have both looked at this pattern so many times yeah. and almost bought it so many times. Every time we're it. at keepsakes in the Christmas room, I look at it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's by the Prairie Schooler and it's Reindeer Roundup. It's so cute. You do that and I'll do Happy Christmas and then we'll, we'll oh, swap. Oh, we're just going to swap. Yeah. 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 For sure. Like, it's just so good. Does one need to be Rudolph and have a red nose? Oh, duh. Yeah. I don't know which one, but... There's eight. Anyway, we'll figure that out. So oh, cute. So there's not a Rudolph. How many reindeer are there? Nine. Counting Rudolph, right? Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. Rudolph. Why? I don't know. Maybe... Those are just like other reindeer. Okay. Yeah, they're not like, they yeah. don't have names. Yeah. They're just, they're just hanging out. We'll see what happens. They're the non-flying variety. It's true. <laughs> just normal reindeer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm excited. Thank you, Donna, so yes. very much. So two more for me. One, I would love to start this. I'm going to try to make it work. Um, but I, the drawn thread, welcome Halloween which is so much fun. And I had seen uh, Megan, the Seattle Stitcher, mm -hmm. has been working on this and I loved it so much. And then Donna sent it to us. Mm -hmm. So I'm going, to, this might not be until next month. I would like to start it, but we'll see how much travel we'll I end see. up doing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it is definitely high up on the list to start. It's adorable. Yeah. So yes, thank you for that, Donna. And side note, thanks to Megan, who is so nice. And then posted a picture. She had dyed her daughter's hair pink. And I sent her a quick message. Because Amity's daughter wants pink hair so bad. So bad. And we had tried a couple of different dyes that like just didn't stay at all. Didn't mm -hmm. stick. And I, I sent her a message like, hey, would you mind letting me know what kind of dye you used? And she was like, of course. And like sent me a video and sent like this explanation of how to do it. And it was just like above and beyond. So mm -hmm. thank you. so. Oh, and she taught me how to do hair tinsel. Which I practiced on Amity because Amity's daughter is not going to sit still long enough for me to learn how to do it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get this down. And then Amity had some fun blue hair yesterday. So she did one. Mm -hmm. I had a single hair tinsel in my hair, which Aaron did, and I promptly forgot about. Yep. We go, we are buying floss. We're doing all the things. I came back home, like literally did not think at all about this one strand of like blue in my hair. This morning... Get up, brush my hair. It hurts so bad. Forgot about it in there. And so I was like, how does this come out? And I like literally just like ripped it out of my head. Yeah. Erin didn't tell me that she had a trick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was pretty. It, I know how to do it now. It was so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> my one blue strand mm -hmm. in my hair. Yep. Um, so yes. Thank you, Megan. Mm -hmm. That was very nice. Megan um, did tell you how to oh, get it out. Oh, she told me how to get it out. Erin yes. didn't tell me how to get it out. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then last thing I'm hoping to start, I got uh, I Forget the Rest from Lindy Stitches. And I've been looking for something to start, like an anniversary project. So my husband and I, our 20-year wedding anniversary is in October. So went into ideally, I know, Whoa. do that math, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I had been looking at just different options and hadn't picked one. And then I saw this and I thought it was so sweet. It just says, we were together. I forget the rest. That is good. Yeah. So um, I got the floss for that and have a floss toss for you later. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> other than that, <laughs> we're, uh, of course, working on Christmas whips um, <laughs> since it is Christmas in July. Yep. Uh, we are going to um, 
just one day mm -hmm. retreats that Keepsakes has. We're gonna go to Summer Stitch. Yeah. And very excited about the uh, midsummer virtual retreat that mm -hmm. Lindy Stitches is hosting. And um, yeah, I've never gone to a virtual retreat, so no. it'll be fun. Yep. Yeah. So. And we get to be at a table. We're gonna have a stitch, a virtual stitching virtual room. Virtual stitch room for a couple hours. I don't know what that means, but it sounds fun. It'll be great. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it for plans. Just that's, a couple of quick things. Yeah. In our spare time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna move on to haul. Mm -hmm. Um so if you hate haul and you are going to uh, be leaving us now, thank you so much for thank watching. You so much. Um haul's gonna be pretty short this time. There's a lot of haul from StitchCon that uh yeah, we'll either put at the end of this video or depending on how long this ends up, we'll figure out. We'll have haul Might from StitchCon. Own weird separate video. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um so yeah, we're gonna move on to haul. So, um, the first thing that we both have is our the Stitch Me fabric of the month. So Mocha. Mocha. So I have eighteen count Ada, and I have thirty two count and Donna. They're a little different. Yeah, this mine's time. a bit pinker. Yeah. I think the Ada's pinker. Yeah. Um. Oh, it's like way different this time. Yeah. Okay. It happens. I like it though. It's a good. Yeah. So this, like I said earlier, I already have plans for mine. There you go. So. I've already signed it. And then Amity, um, we both are part my, of the, my silk of the month is at home. So, yeah. um, but I don't know what I did, what I've done to this green. Yeah. Look at that. It's like a fun, bright rainbow. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Okay. So I also, I got a couple of Mill Hill kits. Mm -hmm. Um, I really, I, I love the like mountain out of a Mill Hill sal idea so uh and then i saw these two little like fuzzy birds oh hold on those are cute aren't they fun how have i not seen these before? i don't know but look how cute they are they're like oh my babies. goodness they're so fuzzy oh my god right look how it's like ah they both are yeah. oh i've never seen these those are fun oh is it do they have one for each season i bet they do spring bouquet winter, winter holiday. holiday i've never I don't know. We'll have to look. Oh my goodness. What's on the back? It's going to be snowman joy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah nothing to um, And then I got a cute little trick or treat. So. Well, it says diva. Hey, yo. All right. And then you, um, I'll just finish mine. You just finish yours. Yeah. yeah. And I don't, I don't usually share like sewing fabric, like for project bags, but Look how like bright it's just too good and not fun to. and pretty this is. Oh, that's got the sticker on it. But look how bright. I just think it's so fun. Mm -hmm. That's a good so, one. Um, I got that. And then I got two options for my We Were Together, I Forget the Rest. I got uh, Fiber on a Wind. Which I've already used. Yes. And Shen both. I think you've seen them before, mm -hmm. but I got Dusk and Night Sky just to see which one mm -hmm. would work better. So I'm leaning towards Dusk. I. Without seeing the floss, I'm mean, yeah. towards dust because it looks like the yeah. picture, but yeah, yeah. So anyway, anyway. Um, over to you. That's okay. it for my haul. So I am going to let's see where to start. I got some things on eBay. I got something from Etsy, mm -hmm. a first book haul, and then another kit. Yeah, or I kitted up something. So I'm just gonna start with Etsy. Um, so I had started, I think last video or the video before, of uh, the medieval pheasant tapestry. And it was, we found like working copies in like my mom's stash, our mom's stash. And I was under the impression it was out of a magazine. But I'm thinking now after seeing um, what Aaron found for me that it's just like a pattern, like a normal paper pattern. Um, so the other day she was like, have you seen medieval swan tapestry? Yep. And I was like, I had not. Um, so it was on Etsy, right? Yeah. Or no, yeah. eBay. eBay. Was it eBay? Or was it Etsy? I think it was Etsy. It doesn't matter. One or the other. One yeah. One or the other. Um, yeah, so she found this and I love it. So I still don't have the original of, oh. Maybe. I don't know. I have some blues. Oh, okay. I have some blues. We'll see. That's pretty, though. Yeah. 
Still don't have the original of the pheasant tapestry. It's still, I'm still looking, but yeah, now that I know, I was thinking for whatever reason, it was just like copies that she made out of a magazine, but I guess because all this is not going to show the inside. Yeah. It's just like a, you know, just a fold out pattern, but so I'm excited, excited. There it is. <laughs> She's excited. There's my mess up word for the day. <laughs> I'm excited to get this started at some point, not in July. Yes. Um, and then I had, you don't turn the computer way down. My eyeballs can't see. Well, it was bright. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll show my eBay stuff. Okay. So I went on another, um, what am I trying to say? Like finishes. Sometimes you buy finishes. Like I I've, I've not like a deep dive. I don't even know what I was trying yeah. to say. Like this term. I was looking for finishes on eBay and came across a couple of like tapestry finishes that I just, I really liked. And so this is one of them. Look how fun that is. Is it yarn or is it like? It's yarn. And you want to see some extreme cross country back I here. Do. I like it. Um, it's a little chunky, but, and I think this was the one that they like ran out of a color. Cause like, is it like that block? I don't know, like it's a different color. So I want to kind of like restore these and wash them because they do smell a little um, musty. Um, you should try your new spot remover stuff. Yes, that's a great idea. Yep. Yep. I've already had Aaron's husband um, sanitize these for me. You have like a UV sanitizer. Like a UV sanitizer. Yeah. Um, but they still smell quite bad, which is, I mean, I'm guessing pretty old. Yeah. So yeah, they're not like new. Yeah. Uh, but I'm so excited about that one. So that was the first one. And then the second one I'm also excited about. Look at that. They're finishing. So I took a page out of our tape mm -hmm. book for finishing. I don't know what is happening on this. Multiple kinds of tape. Multiple kinds of tape that has been there for, I mean, how many years? Probably. Yeah. I don't know. So I want to also like take this, you know, take this out, wash clean it, it up, yeah. wash it, and like actually get it like properly framed, I think. Or maybe not, like I don't know how, like yeah. I want to finish it somehow where like, as you can see, it's like a big chunk of it's like down here and, but I love it. It's fun. I'm excited. Okay. So that was eBay. And then I did another, um, thrift book haul mm -hmm. from thriftbooks.com and I love that I mean I've ordered maybe five or six before yeah um have been really pleased with everything these a couple of these I got smell bad maybe it's me like maybe I just have a sensitive smell but they like smell kind of musty but um I fell in love with that Christmas tree design on this one so I bought bought it for that but there's also I think I showed you oh there's a bird one oh, it's so musty smelling I don't know why I am obsessed with this like this like little town of just people like shopping and getting a Christmas tree and I think like, it's really fun I just love it I like window shopping yeah so I don't know. I'm probably going to do that one too. And I'm sure there's others in here. Not those. It's ugly. Oh, is that? No. Anyway, so yeah. those, were the, those were why I bought that one. And then I got another Women's Day Christmas cross stitch. Um, obviously missing like the jacket. But there were two in here that I liked. You hear that? People are walking around. Um, geometric Christmas tree, I thought was kind of fun. Just like real simple. And then, partridge in the pear tree. So that one's fun. That's fun. Yeah. And then this one, Four Seasons in Cross Stitch, uh, reminded me of the wild, an wild animals in Cross Stitch. Same vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
because that hedgehog is cute. But those, I don't know what stitches those are, that's weird. Um, but there's a really cool owl that I like. This barn owl. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. So that's probably the one that I will do. I don't know, do you see these bunnies fighting? <gasps> no. Look at Oh, here, there's a bigger picture, like right up front of the bunnies. I also enjoy the bunnies fighting. Oh, and the fox, Aaron. <laughs> Oh man, I have to show you the fox. Oh, I love them. Fighting bunnies. Yep. So then there's these, it's like a fox family. I know okay. you like foxes. Do I? Well, you said Hanson likes fox. Oh. Or looks like a fox. Our, our dog looks like a fox, yeah. And like, you have Borealis fox, and mm -hmm. I think what's missing in your life. Oh no, I just saw a glimpse of this. <laughs> what's missing in your life is a whole fox family. Nope, that is nightmare fuel. <laughs> so, um, as I know everyone wants to see it, there's a pattern here, I'm trying to cover it up. Ooh. There you go. I'll make that for you. They're for so, your house. No, it's okay, I thought you would like it. I don't. Oh, they're egg cozies. What? What in the world are egg cozies? Like, well, seriously, do you put it, you put them under an egg? You put them over an egg? That's what I meant, the eggs <laughs> under the... <laughs> so anyway, um... Yeah, I'll make you some egg cozies. Expect this for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, definitely give me the pattern and then I'll make you all some egg cozies. Yeah, I'll make you some egg cozies and then the really, really big one. Mm -hmm. That's cozy they for do, something. Like, it does look like... I mean, Hanson's way cuter, but... Hanson looks nothing like that. Hanson's cute. Coloring. Coloring-wise. Coloring. Yeah. Anyway. So this next book... I got very excited about it. It's actually a needlepoint book. Um, because I liked this bird on the front. Okay, this like pheasant on the front. Like I loved it. You know what pattern is not in this book? The pheasant no. on the front. Oh, bait and switch. I was so annoyed. Oh, but the back has the back has a dog. What's this dog's name? It starts with a W. Winston. No. Wilfred. Something like that. Wallace. Wallace? I don't know. Um, Cindy stitched it. Yeah, but I don't think it was out of this. She said she got it off Etsy. Oh, okay. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but there's like a bird. Or a bird. That's a, not a bird. That's a dog. <laughs> so here's the thing. Like I said, got it for this pheasant thing. They show it. But then the pattern side here? The show it. It's this rug. Like, I don't know who in the world is going to make this rug. Well, I guess somebody might. Like, look. Look what's right there. You know what three patterns they have? The ones up here. The dog, oh. the squirrel, and the bunny. Is it a different book, maybe? I don't know, but... I mean, I love the squirrel and was planning on doing the yeah, squirrel. Yeah, it feels misleading. But... The squirrel's so cute. Hunting rug. What? Yeah, it's not in there. I'm so sad. It says they're quite quick to work. Quite quick. They do, I mean, they do look simple. It would have to be a conversion. I don't understand the um, yarn that they called for because it, like I said, needlepoint. Yeah. But I looked at this book 20 times and have not. So I am going to try and find the bird because I would like to do the bird and the squirrel. Yeah. And have them together. Okay, and then this book, like, I bought because the bird on the front. Is it, is it not in there? Not in there! No! Actually, there's, I should have read the description. There's, yeah. like, no patterns in here. It's, like, a history of needlepoint. Oh. Which, um, whatever. Dang, that's a good bird. Look at this bird. Yeah. Mmm. I was really hoping it would be in there. But it's no, there's, like, no mention of it. It's like, I don't care about any of this. <laughs> like, but... It, so mad. I am so mad. Like, I don't care about this thing. What is this, like, weird shirt bra thing? Like, I want a bird design. Okay, what these necklaces? They don't even tell you how to make the necklaces. They right. just show them to you. Other people have made these. No offense if anyone's made that. Well, but a little bit of offense because she wants to know how to make it, she wants the pattern. Like, See, now you you know to do some research before you 
Yeah. And I mean, it can't be. It was only like a $5 book. It's not right. like it's. But yeah. anyway. I just like this bird. Anyway, okay. Yeah. Last haul. Last haul. It's a good one, though. It's yeah. a really good one. So I. One of my favorite designs um, that I've been looking at for since it came out mm -hmm. really but have not committed because I was a little intimidated by it um Donna sent it to us and I am going to take this out it's Sir Thomas by Glendon Place I did not realize how large Sir Thomas is yes and how much like beading and I didn't realize the amount of like specialty floss and beads and all that that was in it um I mean, it's not like they hide it. It's all yeah. right here. Um, so I had seen this on as a finish on um, Stitching Phase Floss Tube. And it was like back along. I think it was above her fireplace. It was something along like the back wall. And I was like, what's that? Yeah. Let's look it's at that. It's a giant turkey. Um, yeah. But I am obsessed. Yeah. Like obsessed with it. Aaron's, I think one of your favorite things, the corn. I love the the corners. Corners. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. So I immediately went, well, actually I went to one, two, three stitch and I was like, I'm going to kit this up like right away. And they didn't have everything. And then I was reading on the pattern, like, Hey, all of this stuff, um, can be purchased at Glennon Place website. Mm -hmm. So I went directly there and got, uh, Sullivan's floss, which I have never stitched with, but I'm excited to try little floss pack and then for the standard floss oh yeah that's just the standard floss and then um mill hill beads there's seven different color mill hill beads so i got those and i think like one two three stitch didn't have sullivan's at all um they had about half of the beads mm -hmm. and they had about half of the other specialty so and then this is the specialty thread pack which has 14 colors of rainbow gallery petite silk lame braid and I don't know if you can, should have taken that out. Yeah, it's good. You see it. Kind of see. It's so shiny. It's so shiny, yes. And then I did go on and get also the called for fabric, which I think I might use. I might do a, a gray, like a light gray. Yeah. I don't know. But this is 28 count China Pearl Jobelin by Witchell. So. And you um, have to stick with 28 count, right? Because of the beads. I think so. Yeah. I think. I'm not, I've never beaded anything, but I think like it has to be. Yeah. So I don't know. I've never stitched on Jobelin, so that's new. And I've never done beading, so that's new. And I've never done like the silk lame, so that's new. All kinds of new um, things. But I'm so excited to try it. I will probably start it within the next like month or two. I thought about making it a birthday start. That'd be fun. But I don't know if I can wait. Yeah. So we'll see. Are you gonna finish it for Thanksgiving? Uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be way, it'll be done way before then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I did um, when I placed the order, I was having some like PayPal difficulties because um, on their website you you have to use PayPal, and I had like you know like emailed Cheryl who's the designer, and I was like, hey, is there like any other way to pay? And she's like, oh, of course. Um, so I called her to give her my like info and had like the loveliest chat for like probably 15, 20 minutes. Like she talked to me and was giving me tips. Like she suggested doing all of the normal like Sullivan's floss first and then all the um, rainbow gallery and then the beads instead of doing like section finishing or... the section and like moving on. Like, yeah. Um, so I was like appreciated that advice. And it's probably how I'll end up doing it. Nice. So, yeah. Yeah. So I am so excited. Like, so excited to start this. And then you saw the turkeys this morning. Yes. So, like, we have turkeys that were around, like, every day. And then they were just, like, gone. And I was, like, literally last night, I was, like, I have not seen these turkeys in so long. Looked out the window and they were there. Okay. Well, I saw one. Yeah. Under the tree. So I was, like, okay. Yeah. Um, that's our haul. That's it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Two um, hours and 12 minutes later. Yep. A lot of that's coughing. 
It's true. So, it won't be as long. It's true. Once we edit that It'll out. be like 20 minutes. Yes. Yeah. Um, so yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for your patience while we work through yes, some uh, backlog you. of editing. Um, we appreciate everyone. We appreciate your comments and mm -hmm. views and likes and all of that stuff. Um, and another thank you to all of the lovely people we got to meet at StitchCon. Mm -hmm. um, we had so much fun. And yeah, we got to go because Amity's got to start like 16 things today. It's true. <laughs> This is true. Yep. Next year's finishing. Eh. Maybe. Whatever. Maybe. Yeah. Um, but yes, thank you all it's so much. Fun. We hope you have a great day and Bye. we hope you get to stitch today. Yeah. Right? Bye. Bye. All right, now we're on to haul. So, uh, you know, we talked earlier about the, the annex and um yeah how great it was there's so there are a lot of trunk shows uh from different designers there were some dyers there were project bags all kinds of good stuff mm -hmm. so um, we're going to start with floss so i got one from forbidden fiber co called the general oh hey i, Did I you got it? that one too yeah. it was it's such a fun like blue to like it's green everything gold to, to blue red to, yeah so much fun mm-hmm um, so yeah, I've got the general. I got another Forbidden Fiber mm -hmm. Co. Envy. Oh, a teal. Yeah. I'm going to see, um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Um, it might be with my sampler, but I think I might already have a Forbidden Fiber Co. But it's pretty. It's pretty. I'm yeah. I'll use it. And then they also had, um, Almond m mm -hmm. And, um, the dyer for Almond m the Almond m ms uh, was in the like designer dyer area, so got to talk to her. She's mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. Um, I got cotton candy, but I like to call it party floss. Party floss. Look at that, that's fun, right? That's super fun, it's like a party. Yeah, and I got one called Wicked, which was like Halloween, and it's just like purple to like black to green. That's very fun, love it. Yeah, I got two as well. I got Friday the 13th, which is like this fun purple gray that's really pretty and crystal lake oh, this is teal another halloween themed yeah. mm -hmm. well the name not the, the name yeah. yeah yeah um so okay. fun and then did you get any needle minders no i got two i got a keepsakes needle minder and then i got this is from accoutrement designs i think there's another name behind there that i can't see Anyway, uh, it says Mary Stitch Miss, Mary and it's like Stitch a little sled. Miss. So, those were fun. And then I got um, like a keychain or a scissor fob or whatever you want it to be. It just says Stitcher mm -hmm. and has a hot pink bird. And they have like a whole like spinny thing of these, like different ones to choose from. Mm -hmm. So, that will be good. Very and nice. then. Did you get any fabric? I did not, no. Okay. Let's I do... just got all I have left are patterns and then one more cloth okay. wrap. Here's what happened. So I was like talking to some people, um, like just in line. You know, everyone's so nice. Mm -hmm. And um ended up getting some different fabric. So I'm gonna be very brave. I'm gonna try some new things. Uh well not new things, but I did get so Sarah from Millennial Fabrics totally hooked me with ornament sample. Uh, I think that was such a pretty neutral. So I got some 18 count Dove. And then um, there was a new Atomic Ranch color called Sedona. Mm -hmm. I got some 18 count of that. Oh, that looks good on camera. Yeah. That was really true to like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a subtle modeling, but it's, yeah, it's really pretty. Um, and then I was in line waiting to get some fabric cut. So they had two different like cutting stations. So you could find the fabric you liked and go over and they could cut it to like a quarter or a half or mm -hmm. an eighth or whatever you wanted. Um, and Marjorie was in line getting some Atomic Ranch Lestrange and it's 32 count linen. So again, I'm gonna be brave. It's true. Uh, but I just love the, the modeling on it. For Halloween something. Weren't you like, just give me the rest of that? I was like, yes, yeah, just, get, just give me what, if there's any left, I'll take it. So if there was a quarter left. <laughs> Oh, that, yeah, that looks, that's a good representation mm -hmm. of it that's there. Great. Yeah. 
Um, and then Manny D. Donna, who I'd seen their floss before and I've used some of it. Mm -hmm. um, they had some fabric, but I had never seen their fabric before. So I was talking to Tammy and they did like an annex preview the night before they opened. So Thursday night and you could walk around and I saw this fabric and I was like, it's so pretty. Like I wanted some of it so very badly, but there was you just, just like, like hovered over it. Well, like, I just you, kept looking you at it. Get it now. We have to like leave. <laughs> we have to leave. You have to leave it here. It's true. Um, and then like, Tammy also mm -hmm. loved it. And she was like, okay, whoever gets here in the morning, mm -hmm. grab it and we'll split it. Mm -hmm. So it worked out well because she got there in time and we got to split this. It is so pretty. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect gray and like neutral beigey kind of color um but it is 40 count linen 40 40 zero. <laughs> four zero you heard that right yep yeah. so again gonna be very brave um and i don't know what i'm gonna stitch on it yet but it's just you couldn't pass it up though. no could not actually mm -hmm. and then last piece of fabric for me um <laughs> i love the story about this one <laughs> I kept just like, I'm just, just going to do a lap through the annex. Like, no, there was nothing I missed, but like, you know, it was fun to look. Um, so another brand I'd never seen in person was Dames of the Needle from the mm -hmm. Cauldron. Um, and this was, they had a stack of their fabric and I was going through it and I saw this and it was so pretty and I like held it up to celebrate and there was no one I knew in the annex. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, some crazy person like <laughs> holding up this fabric. <laughs> I was so excited, um, but like, I mean, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, yeah, I, I love dirty fabric, dirty looking fabric, and this is like the dirtiest looking it's fabric true. you can imagine. Like, I'm so in love with it. It's amazing. What count is this? I don't even know. I didn't even look. Thirty six. Okay. We're trying all the counts, mm -hmm. and I did like having that little testing station was so helpful. Yeah, I didn't do it, but that's, like, a brilliant idea. It was really smart, because yeah. I was like, hold on, I can do 40, and I can do... And I, I used a magnifier when I was trying the 40, and I will probably use it with this as well, but, like, just one more time. Like, <laughs> one more I, time. I can't. It's <sighs> you. Like, that is I you. I know. I'm so excited. So, that, those are my fabrics. Okay. Mm -hmm. You had a really good fabric call. They really did. Or, I mean, I didn't know they did. Yes, they had a good selection. I had a good haul. Yeah. Okay, and then the last non-pattern thing. We'll do mm -hmm. patterns last. Um, I got a project roll. But look at this pretty galaxy so fabric. Pretty. And then, yeah, it's the same, like, galaxy fabric inside. And it is from Project Rolls by Althea. So we will put um, their email in the notes. But they have a lot of different ones to choose from. And... Yeah, lots of great options. Mm -hmm. So, and I already have some finishes in here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we're on to patterns. So. Um, patterns. <laughs> patterns. That was really sad. <laughs> patterns. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so we both got the Nutcracker from yeah. Twin, Peak, Twin Peak Primitives, so we can do the Nutcracker style that Pam is starting. Yeah. Um, and I like. Really, lo I love the Nutcracker. Like the yeah we um went as kids sometimes with mm -hmm. our, our aunt and uncle and cousins and i remember like we one like when you're gonna sit like right up front by the orchestra and i was just like i watched the orchestra more than the, the ballet. that doesn't surprise me. i know that doesn't yeah. surprise me at all um, so now my husband gets his tickets to the nutcracker every year for my birthday when we go at christmas time oh how fun yeah um anyway that's a side story yeah about the nutcracker um but yeah it was on the fence about the pattern because it's big and it's very large yeah and then we were like looking at it they had it like right kind of by the checkout at the annex we were looking at the pattern and someone was like oh yeah i'm gonna do it as individual ornaments and we were like brilliant yes that is it so yeah. we bought it right away um so yeah, yeah really excited this starts july 15th yeah. um and there is hashtag tpp the nutcracker style i think We'll, there's we'll, another one. We'll consult the salander. It's true. Anyway, yes. There were two. Yeah, and then I think it was just like hashtag the nutcracker style is the other one. Um, and then they had thread packs. Yep. Um, so you can get all the thread that you needed for the nutcracker style. Yep. I might do it on 
25 count Madonna. That would, will it fit? Oh, I guess if you're doing yeah, little ornaments. And your rituals, yeah. 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 Oh, that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. So we got that. Okay. Um, and then other patterns, I have two that I cannot show. One because I finished it and I left it at home. Mm -hmm. And the other one because I was kidding it up last night and forgot to grab it. So I'm going to talk about those really fast. Or I'll talk about the... So um, the flower pot sampler by the Artsy Housewife, mm -hmm. uh, which very pretty online. But then I saw the model. That the we, models. That's how they get you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lauren, the New Hampshire stitcher, stitched the model for it. It is beautiful in person. Mm -hmm. So I bought it right away and am kidding it up at home. So, and then the other one, Amity also got. So on Sunday, um, a group of us started different patterns from Lucy Beam Love and Stitches. So there's Pray For Me, I'm Stubborn, which is what I did. Mm -hmm. And what uh, Erin W, other, uh, ooh, French Knots. <laughs> ooh, French Knots. <laughs> what she was working on. Um, and then you're doing... Um, I'm doing Pray For Me, I'm Petty. And so is Hillary. And subpar stitches. And there's Pray For Me on Bitter, which mm -hmm. has little lemons and little salt shakers around it. Is that what, That's um, what Tasha's, Tasha's doing? Tasha's starting, yeah. yeah. And then there's Pray For Me on Envious, but I don't think anyone... I don't think anyone did that. Yeah. No. Um, so yeah, those are fun. Yeah, so fun. And then I was heavily influenced by Michaela, mm -hmm. who is um, Cinematic Stitches. is so nice. We got to meet her, and she was working on her Halloween Tiny Town, so... So Someone now Aaron's working on Halloween yeah. time. <laughs> well, I think they're so cute. I love this one and I love the frosted one. I, mm -hmm. I like a lot of them, but I had never seen oh, one in real bat. life. I know. He's adorable. hanging upside down. I know. There's a little bat hanging upside down. He's adorable. Yeah. Okay. I They had a bunch of Lindy Stitch's um, airmail series um, finishes there. And I only bought one. It's so good. I wanted all of them, but I only bought one. I got um, November Oscillated Turkey. That thing is like... Yeah, it's okay. being a little weird. <laughs> Sorry, our ring light's like tired. It's true. It's like <laughs> you guys have been talking for way too long. Yeah. Like how amazing is that? And then I did get another one from Lindy Stitches. So I'm going to just like add that in yeah. here. I didn't think to do that ahead of time, but there it is. And this one is two patterns. Per whoa, nope. I was going to say purple transport floss. <laughs> purple. Oh, wait, nope. it is. That is the name. <laughs> That's purple transport. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so we have purple transport, which is this purple horse. And we have Franken's cat. <laughs> I think it's Franken's cat. I don't think they would name it Franken's cat. Could be wrong. <laughs> you are correct. I'm sure. Anyway, I love both of these. And I was going to start this one for um, the Catterday style, but mm -hmm. neither one of the fabrics I had passed the brightness test for Aaron, so I have to get brighter fabric. They were not orange enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't obnoxious enough. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got uh, a Tangled Web by Petal Pusher. And again, the model just like sold me. Mm -hmm. uh, but look at all the little spiders. And it says, What a tangled web we weave. I love the colors on it. They're so pretty. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Okay. I'm going to kind of group mine by design. I did that. That's okay. Yep. Um, so I have two by Teresa Covert. Covert? <laughs> Covert. <laughs> I say that every time. Every time. I have two. All right. So I have two by Teresa Covert. Um, and we actually, Hillary and I were in the annex for like the 407th time, and somehow we had missed those. Mm -hmm. like, they're up by the register, and this one, I thought just, it's called Just a Girl, and I thought it literally was a pattern that just said, Just a Girl. Yep. <laughs> but then, seriously, we got back to the table, and I was like, oh, it says with needle and thread on her dress. <laughs> so you should stitch it to say Just a Girl. Just a Girl. Just a Girl. Just a girl uh, with needle and thread. And then to go with it, this one also has a hippie lady. Says, making beautiful things. Just a girl with needle and thread. Mm -hmm. Making beautiful things. So I thought those were fun. And this the one has borders. 
bird on her hat. So, oh, you're so good. Um, I got the dance by the proper stitcher because I'm a sucker for willow trees and I really love there's like stars and the sun and yeah. It's really fun. That one's fun. I like that a lot. Look at all the fun stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That willow tree. Yeah. Amazing. Every time. Okay. I got one from Plum Street Samplers, which I could not pass up. If you saw our last video, <laughs> yep. that I want to do a wonky deer sampler, like this just fits it. But I'm actually going to stitch this whole thing because I love it. Um, chocolate hearts. Look at those deer. Why are your legs going that way? I don't. They're just having fun. <laughs> They're just having a good time. They're just hanging out. Yeah. They don't have a care in the world. Nope. Frolicking about. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I love them. So I was excited about that. Yep. Um, I got Rebel Stitcher Designs Una's Urn. Um, and I was like, again, the model. Mm -hmm. Look at the, the skulls cool. on the. Yeah, and then there's this little white pumpkin. The little white pumpkin. I'm looking at the pattern on the back. Yeah. <laughs> He's so, so cute. cute. So yeah, I, uh, not that I needed another Halloween pattern, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. I got a Halloween pattern. I know. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> um, I got Petal Pusher Freaky Fair Isle. What is this bat? I Ooh. would like to stitch that when you're done. Absolutely. Maybe with this. I think. Oh, that would be. I should have gotten more. This is on, um, is it on like perforated paper? 14 count paper or 28 count fabric. Hmm. I'll probably stitch it on fabric. I'm not brave enough yet. <laughs> the paper. I don't want to crush it like Hillary. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Smack the bits. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I'm excited about that one. I've, I've, I've seen this one. I've had my eye on this one for a while. And then the model. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, the rest mm -hmm. of mine are the same designer. Do you want to go? I can go, yeah. Go well, I have... Oh yeah, you Jeanette do, Doug, I'll yeah, do this, and we'll just have more. our Jeanette Douglas prayed. It oof. I <laughs> we can talk about it in a minute. You go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So this one has been like in my wish list mm -hmm. or on my wish list for so long. It's beloved by running with needle, running with needles and scissors. Oh, Hillary got that one too. She did. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Sal. Hey, Hillary. <laughs> um, I saw a finish of this one on Instagram. And they had done it on Five on One Peony. Peony? I always say Peony. But Peony? I think that um, one's fine. Yeah. And it was stunning. And I will actually, we'll find that post to put it here because I do want to credit them because yep. I would also love to do it on the um, Peony. It's just, it's like stunning. So, and I'm only, I'm just going to do the, the birds. But, yep. It's good. 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 <laughs> Alright, here's on my morbid purchase. Okay. She, she like runs up to me in the annex. You, you go ahead. No, like, go on. It's fine. Yeah. She's like, okay, I got two patterns. I'll stitch one for you when you die. <laughs> you stitch one for me when you die. <laughs> Which one do you like better? So, well, here's my thought. Okay. So I very much, we're going to have to pre-plan. It can't be when I die. Oh, no, that's true. I'm just stitching the gear. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. When people pass away that I love, I very much like to, like, design their little funeral card. <laughs> Obituary thing? Um, I think it's, a, like, a program. Whatever the programs program. are called. Anyway. Yes. So, like, I made one for my mom and my dad and, like, tried to make it personal to them. They were so good. Well, I want to cross-stitch one. So, um, I got these two patterns that are just amazing. They're by Running With Needle and, and Scissors. This one's May Thy Needles Rest In Peace. And I'm going to read it before I show you. Makers of Samplers. And then it says Evelyn I Let. Like I Let. I Let. <laughs> and then it's an I Let Stitch or whatever. Anyway. Yes. That's, <laughs> that's exactly what I Let them talk. Anyway, it's going to be my name or Aaron's name. Mm -hmm. It says, her life was told with linen and thread. They speak still, though she, wait, they speak still, though she be dead. <laughs> Died and then, like, the year. The date, yeah. So, like, one of us will have this one. Mm -hmm. 
Are we weird? Am I weird? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, this is... Oh. I'd be darning. I'd be darning. I'm just now reading the names and everything. Um, this one's Ida B. Darning. It says, oh, there's like a pen there. Um, Ida B. Darning, with needle and thread, she had great skill. Surely in heaven she uses them still. Wait a second. Hold, what? please. What? Hold, please. Oh. Right? Okay. Hey. Okay. Um, okay. So that's my, all my non Jeanette okay. Douglas. <laughs> so... I don't know. I swear to you, I've never, I do not have any other Jeanette Douglas patterns. Mm -mm. And like, we just entered our Jeanette Douglas era. Like, <laughs> there were so many good models. And I, like, the annex was pretty crowded the first day. And I was like, I'm going in. I'm gonna, well, I wanted to get that Manny D. Donna fabric. And then, so I was like, sending pictures to Amity of different patterns while she was in the stitching room. Um, but there were so many good Jeanette Douglas models and patterns. And so, yeah, we both stocked up on those i got mm -hmm. let's do what we love and it says let's do what we love and do it a lot I, it's so amazing. fun yeah you want to yeah. go back and forth go yeah okay um i did i got christmas cheer pin pillows and i love it. and of course like the models are stitched on like the tiniest, the tiniest yeah oh <laughs> uh, so good i love joy especially this one I got, I'll go over next with my Christmas one. Okay. I got Blooming Bouquets and it is number three, Joyful. So it has poinsettias. All right. Um, home Together, number six, There's No Place Like Home. Like, look at this. Look at this giant bird, this tiny dog, this tiny cat, and this tiny bunny. It's good. It's so cute. Uh, I got Heart and Home, which has just four really cute houses. Mm -hmm. They also had the kit of that one, didn't they? Yes, they had a kit. Yeah, it was kitted up with Antiotis or Gloriana's or, yeah, they had a really good kit. Okay, this is Sew Together number three, Scissors and Threads. And I got this one because, bird. <laughs> because. <laughs> so good. Um, I got Joy Be Vine. Um, Again, sucker for borders, really pretty colors, and it says, the joy for me is the stitch. So, so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, Erin found this one for me, bird box. And look at how fun that is. These are good birds. Yeah, they have like different like specialty, not specialty, but different styles of stitches. Oh, yeah. Excited. So fun. Oh, you're done? I'm done. Okay. I'm not. No, nope, still going. Go strong. <laughs> um, so then I got vintage flowers, which I had seen before, but again, like when you see things in person, it's just Yeah. So I love that. And I probably will not stitch the alphabet on that one. And vintage birds, which I will stitch the alphabet on. I, I very much like the how it's framed. And then the last one I got, which I was obsessed with. Like we saw it on the preview night. She's like, I got to get that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I was like, beeline yeah. for it. Yeah. Uh, vintage acorns. Which does kind of have like a, wow, who pointed it? Like an owl forest kind yeah. of feel. Yeah, it reminds me of an owl forest. Yeah. Yeah. I think Alex pointed that out. She's like, it's kind of going to look like owl forest. Yeah. But I love it. Like, look at all those acorns. There's little Easy. hearts spread mm -hmm. out. Yeah, very nice. Okay, that's all the haul. That's it for haul. That's all. That's, that's all. all the haul. <laughs> that's all we got. Yeah, just a couple, mm -hmm. couple quick things. Um, all right. Well, thank you all. Like I, well, probably thirty minutes of that with me coughing. So. That's fair. <laughs> Pausing to cough. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think you could probably tell from the video that like, it was just such an amazing time. It's so amazing. Yeah, and we met some incredible people, and. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. can't wait to see everyone again. I know. I'm like already excited for next year. Mm -hmm. Like we said, we like got home and I was like, what other retreats are there? Anyway, <laughs> right. So yeah, go to Stitch North in October. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to be there, let us know. Yes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we are very excited. So thank you so much to everyone that we got to talk to and got to meet and especially our table mates. We had so yep. much fun. Um, 
And yeah, we appreciate you all. Yeah. We hope you get to stitch today. And a special, wait, a special thank you to the Keepsakes team. Oh my gosh. Like, Ex amazing call. Like, <laughs> truly, like, so well thought out. Yeah. And I think Hillary said a well oiled machine. Like, it was, they thought of everything. Like, no detail yeah. was left out. No, nope. that was so much fun and mm -hmm. such a, like, easy is a weird way to describe it. But like I said, like, everything was optional. There was no pressure. Mm -hmm. Um, they just, yes, they made everything as easy as they could. And yeah. yeah. It didn't feel like it was a retreat of like 350 people. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. it didn't feel that crowded. It didn't, yeah. they did an amazing job. Just like the way everything was set up and mm -hmm. everything. So yeah, it was a, it was a great time. And I, yeah, yeah we were, I was like, oh man, I'm jealous of the people going to weekend B. Like sure. I hope they're having such a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yes, thank you all for watching, mm -hmm. especially if you hung through through all of that. Ooh, that was a intense video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to take like 16 days to upload to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be seeing this next year. Yeah, when just in time for 2025. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so yes, thank okay. you all again. And for real, we hope you get to stitch today.